<laughs> okay. Alrighty, boys. <laughs> is that a lunchable? Yeah, it is a lunchable. Yeah, she, uh, she caught you we, saying we the N word and brought you a lunchable as a reward. You're so cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What a gamer. <laughs> well, all right. You gotta let these bitches know. All right, so we can talk about the first bullet point, which is the current meta. Uh, before we get into BT15, lads, because uh, it is literally on. next Sunday. Isn't that fucking weird? Mm -hmm. It's it, how fast it's going with side sets to main sets. That's how they usually do it. It's mm -hmm. like the side sets don't last that long. And don't last long at all. I need to play Jessica to give me some points and be number one. Wow. That, wow. wow. That's fuck. You got any comments about that, Jessica? I want that trophy. Nothing. There will be a trophy. Uh, yeah. So I've, I have found out how cheap it is to actually do like a decent sized trophy with our shit on it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, so... It's fun. Anyways, what are we doing? What? Well, how's the meta looking for you, you lads out there? Purple sucks. Purple's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I used to like purple too, and uh, it's getting my nerves. Oh yeah, you can yeah. ask. You can ask Eric. I tested out my Anubis Mon deck with the Ogre Mons and the Goblin Mons, and he was like, "Yeah, man, this this deck is really cool." And then the X Five release with Levia Mon, he's like, "I hate this deck." <laughs> It, it's still cool, don't get me wrong, but it just, it takes nothing. It takes nothing. Yeah, because nothing. there's so many cards that trash from your hand, and then, like, that's all the Ogre Mon <clears throat> and them do is it's gain free. memory and more effects mm -hmm. off of trashing, so mm -hmm. it's simple. And then everyone wants to play those cards, so purple's all you're going to see. All you're going to see. That's why I think what they hit, like, a while back was mandatory. Oh, because, yeah. like, oh, yeah. we're going to see less of purple. Like, it mm -hmm. sucks we're not going to get to see, like, Dark Masters. Yeah. as full power but i it, it's two sides of a coin mm -hmm. that's fair i know pre baning of the uh, garugamon stuff getting on my fucking nerves it is way too fast when you get all the shit you need mm -hmm. yeah like it. yeah melga is thank god it's gonna hit because we've seen Malik just play it at full power, and it's just annoying as shit. It, it, it's free. He just needs one level five, mm -hmm. and he just keeps going over and over yeah. and over and over, you know? Yep. Uh, so, basically, how my match went uh, whenever he got those cards was it's either... If he doesn't get Omnimon Blitz or Melga X, he just loses, depend, mm -hmm. depending on how early he started. Uh, well, with all the X antibodies and stuff, you know, even if he doesn't, he's still drawing them. Yeah, he's still You know, he's drawing them. in general, so he's got that draw power. Yeah. And with purple, you know, he's got this the trashing for more drawing on top of it. So he could potentially always get what he wants. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite Sucks. tactic was like, hard play, uh, hard play out the Levium on somehow, either by the option card or just by itself. Mm -hmm. and it nuked the first uh nuked his big old stack he then tried to do some save or whatever and it just killed it again because you could like to have a one save per deletion effect uh, thanks to live i'm on which is so busted that shit i like how yes. every time jessica turns around i can see her <laughs> but yeah what about you errata I don't know if you could say that. I can. Is, is Buddy, I hope you added this one, unlike the yeah, other one. That's just, you're going to have to now. now. That, that's his name, but that's also a slur. Well, I... I, mean, I didn't know, I didn't know. I, mean, I never oh, played well. Modern Warfare back on the 360. Oh, well. I don't know those words. Tisk, you tisk. didn't need a flag for that. Oh, that's fine. Nobody mm. watches this anyway. Uh, I do. Oh, exactly. That's what matters. You listen to yourself? Oh, shit. I'll edit it out. Don't worry. Mm. We'll see. I'll just call. I'll just call Marauder or something. <laughs> Look over, at this um, Patamon. <laughs> most of make it blatantly obvious. <laughs> Sit him out right there. <laughs> but uh, sure I don't know. Like I got titties. Purple is just. Purple used to be fun to play. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like try hard well so is yellow it's still fun to play it's just I like mean, it's not fun to play against yeah. now well i mean, I mean bills almost fun to play against yeah mm -hmm. then it got all that support and still is getting support and it's still topping tournaments and that's yeah. the thing is if you look at it purple has been the worst color for a long time so i'm glad it got support but i, I, would, I would say it was the worst out of the 
the other colors. I mean, except white's white. the worst. <laughs> yeah, white to me, white is the worst. Oh, before before EX Five anyway, white was the worst. Yeah. Then black, then purple, and then everything else is just up for game. I don't know about black now. Yeah. Well, like you, if you say black, because then there's the War Greymons and stuff like that. Well, yeah. mono and black. those are technic. We count. Well, mono then you're, black. you're going different if you're counting just mono colors. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. I'm not saying I can't colors really think in of any general. Mono black. I mean, there's like what? There's just Machine There's Machine Dramon, but that's different. That's that's super rogue still. There's. Yeah. What Locomon? Exactly. I mean, exactly. You know My point exactly. It's what it's on the lower tier. But if you think red, Greymon, blue, uh, Melga. If you think per, if you think um, yellow, you think Angemon, which yellow vaccine is so fucking crazy right now. And then I, you go into green, mono green. It's fucking Bloom Lord, and Bloom Lord's broken as shit. I think the problem well, because- is. A lot of these other colors are getting effects that other colors have. Mm-hmm. And black, like mono black, at least in my point of view, just has blocker. Yeah. That's blocker really all it's got develop. going for. Indeed Digivolve. Digivolve. Well, yeah, but at that point, you know, it's Digivolve's great and all, but like you can't win a game off of just D Digivolve. Oh, you should play against Urban's heavy Leomon. That shit's fucking annoying. Yeah, but is that mono black? It's not. It's a uh, black green. There you go. Uh, that's what I was gonna say too. It's like I felt like purple was the worst, but now I can agree green is because if you're not playing a certain set of green cards, you're playing all tamers. And I want you to look at how many decks play Mimi and Taiga. Yep. Yeah. Well, especially with this Levimon X, just going into it, I just pop a tamer. Like I'm like, damn, I'm getting Black War flashbacks. Yep. We're essentially that's what it becomes. Yeah. I can't wait. And then for everyone Malik. gets mad because then it's Black War again. Exactly. I can't wait for Malik to be like, "You get to just do that. You get to do that for free." All, all the way back, echoing from his BT11 phase. <laughs> well, it's different when he gets to play out stuff yeah, for free cool. with his Rosemond deck, which he, you know, he get three, four monsters, digivolving on top of that, all for no memory at all. That's fine, but if you do it, it's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh. Well. But yeah, I respect them, but goddamn. But yeah, did we get everybody, Justin? Did we get, did we get your uh, your your point? I guess some opinions, but actually thinking about the going back to it, the original thing, the meta, I would have to say it's most purple decks that we're seeing from like BT14 and EX5, yeah. being Lugamon, uh, Lugamon, Lugamon is, Anubismon. Lugamon is barely a fucking purple deck. Uh, it's blue purple. It's it's mainly purple. Well, no, I'm I'm saying it's it's purple, but it really feels green to me. Yeah, it's a go wide strategy, but I mean, like, it still works. Yeah, it still works. By all means, it works. It just doesn't feel like an actual purple deck. It's like a green. It's like a green or a black deck. Just just that just spray paint its face purple. Yeah, and then behind that, I would also have to say is like as we've said before, yellow is getting up there. God, it might not seem like it now, but in my opinion, as playing the deck, I think it's it's broken right now. Mm-hmm. See, some of the cards that we got should have seen uh, they should have uh, been done a little bit yeah. more too because it's it's insane. Seeing the uh, Mastermind cards, mm. I can I mean, just I, I can just blast in general. Blast Jogress from trash and on field, buddy. What the fuck were they thinking? Like, and notice how they didn't do that for any of the other DNAs. It's so far just well, Mastamon. We haven't seen Ragna Lords, and we haven't yeah. seen uh yeah we haven't seen Ragna Lords, and maybe <laughs> maybe Imperial gets another one. Maybe. No Imperial one. Mm. Because we probably won't get Imperial support for a while because 16. Yeah, I just hate, I just hate that that the only Imperial Ace we have is the shitty one from the deck, from the starter deck. So yeah, it sucks, but at least we get that payout Yeah, that's something. So, uh, so talking about cards, uh, we'll move on to local tournament results. Both me and you weren't there, Justin. <laughs> Yep. You know who were there? The top three, which is numbers. The second place was Eric with Poop, and third place with Urban and Gallimon. That shocks me every time. He was oh, gallantly okay. playing. Well, one day you'll just realize how good Gallimon is. We swear it doesn't rely on our team. No, it's either one, 
Gallimon ain't all that or two, y'all are just building it wrong. Oh my god, okay, the way Urban played. Keep it up. I'll mail you out again, brother. Urban, there was that game where you just hard played again. Oh, yeah. Turn two, you had Turn two, two crimson modes. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> It was so... 13 Gallimon just... Oh, hell, yeah. I was I revealing know. aces before anyone else, but hey, for hard costs. That is, without going to, like, Ultimate Cup prizings, that uh, BT-13 Gallimon is probably the most expensive Gallimon right now. And it's a, it's a great card. It's a great card. It, it's the best hey, Gallimon, honestly. I still don't know how I went third. I don't know how I got second. I, I, I lost so much. I don't know how that would happen. Uh, Does it well, make any sense? Since we're talking about that, Eric, since you're second, tell us about uh, the decks you faced up against and how well you did. Oh, that's the fun part. Uh, let me pull up my little listy. No, oh, you wrote it down. My little list. Prepared. Did you write it down, Urban? Probably not. Uh, so. Oh, okay. Let's see. You just make up whatever. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah. First game. Uh was against Urban. Oh, love uh, <laughs> With the said hard play Gallimon. And I was like, Gallimon, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> uh, he, he won 2-0. Yeah, yeah that's not fair. Right? <laughs> Game two, I fought Plants. Uh, and it was fucking Malik, of course. That makes sense. Head to head, 2-1. It went well, but I was struggling. I can't wait. I had security bombs. Mm. That, that, that's where I struggled with the, the Gallimon, is it had the trashing of the security. Yeah. So a lot of my poop uh, security effects, mm -hmm. I just couldn't do. I couldn't yeah. on-play anything, or uh, security play stuff. I couldn't mm. turn them to poop, you know? No, you don't have the option card. Yeah, and I, I just I couldn't do anything with it. So it was just Rookie Rush, essentially, at that point. And then last, I had Gray, and he was running uh, Hunters, which mm -hmm. that was the first time I played against Hunters yeah. since... When did Digicross originally come out? Oh, fuck. Uh, that like was, the original uh, Hunters deck. I haven't played Hunters since then. Original like Hunters was, I think, like Shoutmon. Yeah, yeah Shoutmon. I'm a Shoutmon. So I yeah. mean, Hunter, Hunt, Hunters came out in BT12. Yeah. So I haven't, I have not played uh, Hunters since then. Okay. And I was expecting this, like, you know, slower ramp. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was playing a really interesting version of it. It was like a level four rush. Mm. Really cool. Of course, he spent no memory. Um, he wiped the floor with me. It was head to head every game, yeah. but just, I couldn't draw the cards. That happens. Fair. That happens. Sometimes. That's why I'm curious on how I got second. I mean, that's what. <laughs> how many losses was that? You know, I won what two games? Four games. Three games. Three games. Three games. Oh, three games. Oh, okay. So you did uh, get two. Uh, you went two one. That was zero. One two. Yeah, I just won two games. How'd that happen? No. Oh. Weird. Every, everybody else must have tied or just. Worse. Um, that's, that's Swiss format for you, I guess. Yeah, Swiss that's magic Swiss format for magic you. Magic Swiss format. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, Urban. Yeah. What about you? Number three. Ah, number three. This is, uh, by the way, this is the first time I, Eric, Eric has gotten a top three spot. I'm so happy for him. I've never yeah, talked. Monkey poop. Monkey poop. Monkey poop. I just want to be happy for him. Let, let me win. He, he We're happy for our boy. I'm so happy for him. I was more happy. The, the team loser got the team winning plays. It's cool. I was so happy yeah. to see Eric and Urban Top more than I saw uh, Gray win the tournament. Yeah, Gray could win. It don't matter. Nah, you know, like, we need yeah, the real MVPs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first game, yeah, was Eric. <laughs> I knew what that deck does. Like that. Yeah, and you were scared poop. the whole time. I, like, yeah, I knew I know what that mug you did. <laughs> Every time I play so something, many, he's like, crash that. I'm like, no. There were so many videos on YouTube whenever I just scroll through YouTube on monkey poop, like gameplays and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I call it. it monkey poop. I love it. And monkey like, poop, mouse. I mean, it's all over like, the place. I can't swing because I know what's in security, and yes. I know what he can uh, play in security. So, like, uh, yeah, turn two, just hard. I, I didn't have anything to do about it. So so <laughs> uh, Gallimon, boom. Boom. That's like, all you need. On play, like on play, delete six thousand or less if nothing was deleted. Thirteen or more, which is yeah. dumb. Like thirteen, like nothing is. 13. Yeah, that was the weird thing because it was a number. It just whiffed. Uh -huh. I didn't have. I didn't have enough TP for that. It was yeah. weird. It's yeah, it's, it it's more against uh, Wargray. Wargray always gets above that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Uh, and then whenever level seven. Yeah. And then like that was the. That was the first round with Eric. I was just like, I can't. It was essentially just me, that one Gallimon for like. Back to back, I, every time. Yeah. 
<laughs> Clearing house. It's you and me for life, baby. Right. Yeah, that game two. Die. That game two was pretty close with me and Eric. It's okay. Like, you, you can be honest about it. <laughs> I am. He was actually he was able to do so. I was playing poop. You can say it was shit. I get it. No, it's whatever. <laughs> like I was able to get a line and then. Uh, yeah, you were able Gallimon, to get a lot more cards. Get them on X. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, the card that really helped was a uh, War Growl X. Mm-hmm. You know, when mm-hmm. they're evolving, they get on deletion, lose a memory, and then you pop six thousand total DP. Yeah, I would just pop. Poop. Nothing has more than three. Two mons or something. Yep. Gain, gain the two memory back and then go into the Gallimon with the Blitz Staccato in the back. Mm-hmm. And then end of attack on the War Growl, you have no Digimon on board, gain two memory back, kept it my turn. <sighs> Crimson mode. <laughs> Head up for next turn. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> and then uh, round two was... was uh, was Izzy? Oh my god! Oh, I'm so glad Dude, I didn't like, play him. So our strip, that just yeah, everybody loves it. Jellies. Everybody loves it. Heck no! It's, it's it's the thing everyone loves. We definitely want our sources gone. Why not? Whoever promotes for if there was ever a mirror match between store strips, whoever promotes for just loses. Yeah, I would choose to go first because you know I need I need the search power. For Gallant Mom, when I don't, when I've already mulligan, I still don't see what I what I need. I will say, then, if if me and Izzy faced each other, and I was playing uh, Mirage with the Sword Stripping, I think I will come out ahead simply because I can just I can just bounce anything of his back to hand. And then so, some of the decks it doesn't really affect yeah. when you think about it because some don't rely as heavy yeah. on their. Inheritables, yeah. but there's a lot of them that a do. Lot, so like much. Greymon technically does, but some of them don't matter, so that depends. Yeah. I um, maybe Mon technically doesn't, but I mean it, it helps. Yeah, since we were talking about Bloom Lord, I don't feel like Bloom Lord's really affected by it because you're either already ramped up high enough uh, to where you don't need your Inheritables, or because well, most of your Inheritables are just digivolving for one that's less. True. Unless uh, you are trying to climb back up to it, and then right. you're just one shore, and it passes over to turn, and it, and Jellymon or uh, Gomamon just stops you from doing it. Yep. So that's understandable. All right, so we will move on to the next point. Now we can either talk about uh, we can either do pro- deck profiles right quick. Uh, or we can talk about upcoming cards in BT15 to give you some time to uh, uh, unorganize it, make sure that it's in order while you talk about it. It's up to you guys. We should do the deck profiles uh, before tier list. Okay, that sounds good. Or app. What 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 tier list are we doing? Uh, uh, is it a surprise again? Uh, no. Is it another fat boy tier list? No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. No. How it, I'll tell you how it is. It's a, it's a deck. It's a tier list about uh, all the cards and BT fourteen and the, the, the nerd. current deck list right now. Nerd. Yeah, mm. I'm such a nerd. You imagine a Digimon tier list in a Digimon uh, podcast. Know, how dare we? Such a right. nerd. That's double dipping. That's that's where it's messed up. Our originals. Yeah, I love how <laughs> Urban just pulled away. <laughs> Bye, Urban. Bye. Bye. We'll um, miss you. That's okay. He'll be oh, he's oh, back. Welcome back. back. Dad's oh, home. Man. Dad's home. Oh, God. Where's that... the meal? Mind you, but Where's I didn't mean to play those. I didn't mean <laughs> to play the BT-13. Shinderu. Gallant <laughs> I meant to trade them out for the raid ones. I just forgot. Oh, damn. Oh, you, you played with the wrong deck list? Oh, man. And you oh. still oh. fucking... Oh, <laughs> this guy. That's amazing. That's incredible, though. That sounds it's like me better. whenever I played the Leviamon, and I was just using... I basically put Leviamon and top end on my Anubis Mon, threw the Anubis Mons out, and just ran with it. Because yeah, when I first saw that Yalom Mon, I was like, fuck, fuck I'm playing the wrong, the wrong deck profile. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Now I know. The more, the more you know. I probably still won't switch them out. Probably not. Okay. So, talking about, I, I sent y'all the list of the upcoming cards that are coming into the next format. Does anybody want to start us out? That be ugly a, ass be a, a card. The, nobody wants to read from top to bottom? 
What are you, what are you talking about? I didn't get out. anything. I still got that. It's I in got, the I group chat, Urban. One. If you actually I'll read it, like Discord. <laughs> well, the last thing I see is Eric's dumb <laughs> meme. Yeah, yeah, I'll scroll. reset it to you. Hold on, I'll reset it to you. Oh, it's gross. Mm -hmm. I got oh, you. God forbid. Oh, the thing that was locked. This I guy. See I see it. I see it. I see it. Visit site. Accept cookies. Why not? No, I love cookies. I mean, what else you gonna do with them? Yeah, not save them. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, uh, we're gonna start at the top. Uh, who wants to go first? Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead. Damn, so, this was a class reading list. Because so. I say, like, uh, I've actually talked oh, about this a little with uh, mm -hmm. friend Scott. So uh -huh. first, I'd like to bring up the Guru Mon and the Gabu Mon line. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's not bad. It's not gonna be better than the purple, yeah. and it's gonna change up a lot of styles. But I feel like it does help go into a right mm -hmm. direction. Now you can do like Agumon does now, and you can mix and match and make a toolbox. But I think you're better either cool. going a pool, uh, like a full purple or a full blue, because they both are gonna do different effects compared to the Agumon. Like Agumon just didn't get it for some reason. I really wish he did. Like for those that like him, mm -hmm. but it's just not as good as no. Agu, and I think that's why they made the X anti cards as busted as they were. Yes. But, like, I remember uh, it does go off more of, I think, the blocker aspect. Yeah. Because I know the egg gives you, like, straight a thousand. I think if you draw a card, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adds a card. You gain a thousand until the end of your opponent's turn. And then there's also the level six Metal Guru Mon. Uh, it's the same as the War Gray Mon from 14, which isn't bad, where you can just evolve into something if you're behind on top of a Gabu Mon, which I don't think mm -hmm. is bad. But I don't know if I like that they gave it evade. That's fair. Yeah, I don't... The evade doesn't really help because in order to use evade, you have to suspend anyway, so... Yeah. So it's kind of a weird option that they just kind of gave it, and it's it just felt like it was thrown to the wind, honestly. Yeah, they tend to do that whenever making anything but Greymon cards. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I mean, I want to argue with it, but at the same time, I, I really can't. Yeah, it's, it's just how they treat it. It's it's yeah, it's what it is. But I have seen this one teched into decks. Uh, I primarily see the uh, the alternate art of it because the alternate art looks fan fucking desperate. Oh, it's amazing. It's so it good. is phenomenal with the AAs in this so set. Good. Just like in fourteen, yeah. were so good as well. So good. And then we got the Sunomon, uh, inherited once per turn. Whenever when your Digimon's effects add a card to that your hand, it gains a plus a thousand. That's not bad. Like I, I said, that helps. Cool. Like later on in the line, you get like blocker, yeah. or you can just like when you go into your Wargaru, you have the yeah. PP boost now. Oh. So I think it works out. Me too. And then the mat. Now the mat, however, I think the mat is in the right direction it for is. blue. Because it's because they needed something. It searches specifically for Gabu or Guru in name, which is so good. I like that. And when your Digimon's effects add a card to your hand by suspending this timer, gain a memory. Fan yes, fucking fantastic. You know what I can see this be put into? Mirage. Yep, easily. Yeah. Just because it's by name yeah. and it runs both. It's just going to speed it up with, that much faster. With the Bukumon hit, you're going to be seeing deck lists. Either it's going to have these mats in it or it's going to still run the old Nikolai's. I could see both, honestly. I could see both. Yeah. Yeah, but Wouldn't the, hurt. The deck only has so much space in it. And that's how a lot of decks are getting when they come out, too, is, like, space becomes so tight. Very, mm -hmm. very tight. And there was Scott skipping up the Shoutmon, and they'll back him up. We don't give a fuck about that. Uh, I do think it's cool mm -hmm. that they're getting stuff. I do. I do. I just, just, yeah. Not being forgotten. Yeah. Especially the Alteress, because I feel like Alteress yes. very much needed it. It definitely yeah. needs it. Definitely. But uh, um, going on down to my favorite deck. Yep. Oh my god. The support that oh. you didn't need, but oh, it's there, baby. Oh my god. The support for the stuff that just, just came out. Just yep. tackle my mm -hmm. nuts while we're here. I was already happy with it. With the Belfamont, it's our it's already awesome. But with yeah. this, oh to win more. Yeah, win so more. we'll start off with Wearer Cedramon. Uh it's a little five. All turns, once per turn. When an opponent plays a Digimon by effect, a lot of decks play that. Do that shit. Yep. All of your opponent's Digimon gain on deletion, lose a memory. Because why not? Uh, when attacking, uh, your opponent plays one level four or lower. 
card from their trash suspended without paying the cost. Any on plays do not go off. Then, I, then you may switch the attack to the target. Because mm -hmm. why yeah. not? They could have just left that last part out. But why not? And uh, the inherited is piercing. Because why Which not? Which is great. Why not? It's just extra. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. Then we got Leviamon X in our body, which is holy fuck. I love this card so much. I can't wait for the alternate. Alternate it looks gorgeous. Uh, it says at level 6. From the trash, all turns. When an opponent's Digimon or Tamers is played by an effect, they did not have to put the Tamers part. One of your Leviamon or one of your Digimon with X in a body and its Evolution cards may digivolve into this card from a trash without paying the cost on its they face just... it's the security attack plus two oh, on man. its face yep so swing for three and times that alone is just crazy so, and you have piercing and you have piercing because you'll always have the wear citron under it and then when digivolving if your opponent has as many or more digimon and tamers you delete one of your opponent's tamers just do it then one of your opponents level 3, level 5, and level 7. The reason why they did that is because 7th Lightning, trash all turns with one of your Digimon Digivolves into Levia X. By returning this card to the bottom of the deck, delete one of your opponents level 4 and level 6. So it's just to fill in the gap. Uh, it can't get rid of... Uh, well, actually, yeah, it does get rid of level 7s. So these cards go hand in hand because as soon as you Digivolve from the trash, the 7th Lightning will go off from trash. So it doesn't matter at all. Uh, the only the only way to get around this is honestly if you go into Omnimon um, Merciful mode because it shuffles your trash back into your deck. I don't see it not getting hit eventually because it's. I think it's 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 too it's busted. It's too good, it's and the bust. fact that purple I feel is really good. You could easily just throw their both Leviamons, that and the X antibody in there, and oh, yeah. have those as security oh, yeah. bombs for the mm -hmm. well, option. Here's the thing. Technically, technically, what you could do is throw these in purple Melga, mm -hmm. and just and get just, there faster. And well, because love the Melga purple Blastase. It's a level six, so it could digivolve into this for free. If for whatever reason your opponent plays something, God forbid, by an effect on their turn, and Ain't top hoop, GG, <laughs> just extend that hand like out and just it just essentially became a different Nidhogg mon. It really did, and I love running Nidhogg. It, it's a good card. I, I run four of. If I'm not sure what what fillers put, I put four of. It's so good. And then, of course, it because why not? And it needed a DJ Evolution line, too, while we're here. Uh, so, we got the Gizamon on play. It's a level 3. One of your opponent's Digimon gains on deletion, leaves a memory until the end of their t next turn. Uh, inherited when an opponent's Digimon is played, gain a memory. Love it. Guess Oman on play when, or when Digivolving. When your, your opponent may trash one card in their hand, if they don't, just gain a memory. Which is. It's a blocker. It does have blocker on its face, which is stupid. And while your opponent has no Digimon, this Digimon can attack. Which does the same thing about blocking. And then the Herod has the same thing. If something is played on your opponent's field, you gain a memory all turns. Now, for what I am actually low-key excited for, uh, the Gomamon and Plesiosormon X Antibody. These More cards, stripping. These cards are so pretty looking. I love this artist. Uh, so the Gomamon X Antibody. We already have a Gomamon X Antibody, I believe. No, I think I this is know. the first one. We don't. We, we don't? don't? Oh, shit. I really thought we already had Yeah, one. this is the first one for uh, Goma and Plessy. Oh, shit. Okay. Awesome. Uh, who wants to take over this? Because I've been talking for a minute. Mm. I can't read. But you can't, can't read. You can't read. That makes sense. Can not read the time on your phone, right? Mm. You're going to twist my arm. Gomamon X Antibody. I like how you said that. Gomamon? <laughs> you said Gomamon Gom X Antibody like, so perfectly. Gomamon X Antibody. 
On play, when digivolving, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Sea Beast, Plesiosaur, Beastkin, or X Antibody trade among them to your hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. The Inherited. When attacking, once per turn, until the end of your opponent's turn, one of your opponent's Digimon with as many or fewer Digi Evolution cards as this one can attack. So, uh, so good. That's like really good for level three, I feel. Mm-hmm. So good. And it's an X Antibody, so you get the draw. The as X well. Antibodies are only getting better. Mm-hmm. The more further we go, well, originally, they were good before too, them, like, so to what incredible. we originally had. Well, originally, with like BT nine and stuff. Originally, mm-hmm. Xenobody cards, they just didn't have an inheritable. That was the cost. But yep. now they're slapping them on there. What's that power creep? Honestly, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's it's always in every every card game. <laughs> and then Eric, if you don't mind me reading, please your Sormon Xenobody. Absolutely, mm. please your Sormon Xenobody. <laughs> uh, when did evolving? When attacking? Once per turn. Return one of your opponent's Digimon with as many or fewer Digi Evolution cards as this Digimon to hand. Opponent's turn. Once per turn, when one of your opponent's Digimon with as many or fewer Digi Evolution cards as this Digimon attacks, if this Digimon has Plesiomon or X Antibody in this Digi Evolution cards, gain to memory. It's busted. That's insane. Due to them oh, already man. both having X Antibody, it's going to have a shit ton. Well, uh, evolution well it's talking about the uh, the X antibody card. That's what it's implying. Oh, X antibody, the card. actual option yes. card. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, like either one, the new one or the old yeah. one. But uh, so still, like with Eric's talking about is like you're gonna have the two, like oh, mainly yeah, the level oh, three yeah. and the level six. Like it's gonna be a big. You're still stack, just so... getting sources. And then you yeah, got even a normal deck that doesn't have one. And then you got the Akaku Mon, like the whole Goma Mon Digi evolution line too. Mm-hmm. And then there's the Viking mm-hmm. Mon Ace card that's coming out, which. It's just so fucking good. Yep. But let's see here. And then I'm sure Molig is creaming in his goddamn pants right now. Without mm-hmm. a doubt. Over this this shit right here. Just this shit. But he's getting way more about this shit. Yep. Uh Urban. Talking about the Ginryu Mon. Urban, why don't you read? I think I read insects and stuff. Okay. Uh <laughs> Justin read this. Mm, I think it's a little mm-hmm. off. It's a little off. Yeah, because uh, on the website it goes from the uh, it has, some of the Dark it has Master the straight arts, into the Digi Police stuff. Oh yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So yeah, we can just skip those. Though. Yeah. Uh, but, we, hey, Dark Masters. Yeah, we can talk about Apocalypse Mon, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna get played since it's. I don't... I don't think I don't it think it's not gonna cool, get played. Though. I think it's still gonna get played. It's just not gonna be as reliable. Fair. By mm-hmm. the way, boys, since we were talking about X antibody, the original X antibody card from BT nine seven dollars and fifty cents. The is AA, the common one? yeah, this is the common one. The AA from the started at Beelzemon seventeen dollars. Wow. Good thing I bought mine. Better buy up your Beelzemon like, decks if they're out there. Uh, the X antibody protoform is six dollars. The AA is twenty one dollars, and the pre release for the original X antibody is seven dollars and fifty cents. Mm. They have shot up over all these X antibody cards because they all need it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but we can we can also skip these. Uh, do we want to talk about Rosebomb? I think Babamon mm. is pretty cool. Do you? Because you play. If there's well, Jinmon stuff, yeah. we'll talk. We'll start with Babamon. Um, let's see here. Babamon is a level six on play and on deletion, which is very <coughs> unique for a yellow green. It's usually only in black that does on deletion shit. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus six k until the end of their turn. End of opponent's turn by deleting this Digimon. I'm at. You may play Rosemon or Gigimon from your hand without paying the cost. Then activate the when digivolving of the Digimon played by this effect. This that's where it's cool. It doesn't specify which Rose, yeah. Rosemon or Gigimon. So you just right. And then activate their when digivolve. Now, they did this on little old Bombamon. That's fine. What the hell is stopping them from just slapping this effect and changing some names out on Raymon? It'll happen. Like whole, I since they're doing the whole oh yeah activate their wind digivolving effect now, there's no stopping mm-hmm. it now. This is their little test area. Uh, then we go to Liliamon X antibody. It needed an X antibody. I'm very happy for it. 
I'm uh, shocked I didn't have one already. Me too. Uh, when Digivolve, if there's a suspended Digimon containing, gain a memory. Pretty cool for zero cost on top of a, a, a Lilymon already. If this Digimon has Lilymon or X and a body of stage evolution cards for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon, draw a card. Pretty good. Uh, I really wish it said for each of your Digimon and your opponent's Digimon, just so that way you get maximum draw, but I guess they thought that was too broken. It's inherited if for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon, Gain a thousand. Pretty good. Uh, Rosemont X. When Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and one of your opponent's Tamers. That Digimon and Tamer can't unsuspend until the end of their next turn. Opponent's turn, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is played, you may suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, which suspending on their turn is kind of kind of good. That's pretty good. Uh, opponent's turn once per turn when an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area. If this Digimon has Rosemon or X antibody and Steve Bush cards, you may suspend one of their opponent's Digimon. Which, fuck. It's nice you brought that up. Suspend it now. Suspend mm -hmm. it now. Which, Shame. which changes things. This is the second deck that punishes you from playing the game. One, first was Leviamon, now it's Rosemon. I see the game going into Yu-Gi-Oh! territory to where, oh, you're playing the game? Fuck you. That's where I really see it going. Yeah, just trying to make someone frustrated enough to scoop at that point, you know? That That is the goal for most decks. Just wait for a weird purple-green deck that can just run both of them, so you can just double, triple down on that shit. It's mm. going to be ridiculous. Oh, oh, shit, I'm going to be talking for a while. <laughs> ah. there's, a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cards that I play. Um, Palamon X Antibody. Uh, on play when Digivolving. What, to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, because why not? And the Inherited is your turn once per turn. When your Green Tamer is played, gain a memory. This sync synchronizes well with uh, Liliamon that plays Yoshino for free. Now, I will pause for a second, because mm -hmm. I was about to say, not just that, but this synchronizes well with the BT14 stuff as well. Oh, yeah. And I'll explain to you why. Say you start with just three memory alone. Yep. Yeah. And then you have the option card that came out with uh, with 14 where you pay for one and yeah. it does the same thing as the Palmon. Yeah, okay, yeah, you move yeah. the, that Palmon up. Uh -huh. You activate the effect. If something's suspended, you choose their Digimon, gain two memory. Cool. Play the option card for one. You're at two memory. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you choose the same Digimon. Why not? All right, if it becomes suspended, that's four memory. Why not? You go into the X antibody. Yep. You've suspended it. You've now gained four memory. You're at six. Yep. And then it just continues on from there because you go into the Togemon if you have it, tap the Togemon, gain a memory yep. off the Palmon X anybody. Yep. And then and it just it keeps going. And then uh, you get you go into the Togemon X antibody, you tap the Yoshino, and then you gain a memory just for a free X antibody evolution. Mm -hmm. And the Digimon we'll that got right tapped right in general now can't be untapped. Yep. Uh, Eric had a work phone call probably. Uh, we're moving on to Togemon X antibody now. Uh, Digivolves on to Togemon for free. It could have been for one. It wouldn't have changed. Uh, when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon can't unsuspend until the end yep. of your opponent's turn. If Togemon or Xenobody is in this Digimon's Digivolution, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and then inherit it for each other's suspend and gain a thousand. Yep. Which I kind of got ahead of myself there. But, oh, no, you're uh, fine. It's you're just, fine. it's insane when it's you so think funny. about it. The potential. Like, this might be the top, because you, this is great for Rosemon. But I'm seeing how Bloom Lord uses this, and I'm like, oh my god, with the Hydramons. But then Bloom Lord, you have to swap more from like yeah, plants yeah. and vegetation in general to where you now play the Rosemon line. Well, you originally were because you were playing the Liliamon and you're playing the the plays of Yoshino out. You had to choose which direction you wanted to go in, whether Liliamon or a Bloom Lord, or not Liliamon, Rosemon or Bloom Lord. Now you can kind of go either way. And another thing is, we weren't even thinking about Rosemont Burst Mode. Yep. Like, that's even better. Because but... I've been concocting stuff to where Black War, what did everyone do? Two, uh, Ga Gaiomon, mm -hmm. uh, two X Antibody, and two Black War Grey. Like... What's stopping them from two Rosemon, two Burst Mode, two X Antibody? It's so good. It's just so good. And this proves as a great counter to Machine Grimon too. It, you just suspend that one and oh well, your game. It stops a lot of things, especially so if it's a big blocker deck. It's so much, so much. And we're getting this Sunday. 
Sunday. We're getting this. Friday. Friday. Well, Friday, but uh, Sunday is our pre-release. Yeah. But fuck. God damn. I am not ready for this shit. I'm not it's ready. always that fun time of the new cards come out. I'm not ready for it. And then we got Digipolice because we needed more Digipolice shit. Now, I will ask, and I think I've asked this before, you as our Digi... Well, both of you as Digipolice players, do you prefer the way it's going now into more Digipolice wine, or do you think it should have stayed D-Brigade Digipolice? I think it's healthy for the game that it's sprinting on two different areas. Uh, simply because both me and Urban, could, one of us could be police, one of us could be D-Brigade. I really like that. It's the same thing with Bloom Lord and Rosemont. Yep. I just want them to balance it out to where they're yeah. about even. Sorry, I had a phone call from work. Oh, you're good. You're fine, brother. There we go. Cool. Uh, but, yeah. So, Zhu Yulin, police lady. Yeah, we're going to butcher it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait till we get to the option card. Uh, yeah. Oof. Security, play this card without pants cost. Pretty normal for a timer. Uh, start of your turn. If you have two or more, two or fewer memory, set at three. Did you please need it a memory setter? I'm glad I get it. Um, main mind link to one of your opponent, one of your Digimon with X antibody or Digi Police trait. This kind of unironically goes into Lugamon because Lugamon yep. does have X antibody. It quite goes into X any X any X any antibody, X antibody. when you say about it. So I could technically put this in machine. Black Gimon. War. I could definitely mm -hmm. put this in machine. Gimon. That's kind of cool. And inherited while this Digimon with X in a body or Digiplace, it gains Alliance and Reboot, which is, oh, great. End of all turns, you may detach it without Vance Goss. Pretty normal for a Mind Link Tamer. Yeah, Love new Mind Link it. Tamers, very good. Love to see it. Then we got Ryudamon. Uh, hey, any ideas of what, what they're trying to cater towards for this Digiplace? That's for oh, no. Alphamon. No, they they could never. Never. <laughs> uh, Digivolve from zero from Kai Kaiyokomon or pay one on top of a level two. Uh, start of your main phase by placing one Zhuyulin from your hand as this Digimon at the bottom of Evolution. Just play it for free. This Digimon isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon until the end of your turn. Very similar to the uh, the Numemon. Very similar, except it's kind of better because it's on a level three instead of a level four. Well, with the Numemon, it uh, it's on play, but this one's a starter main. So if yeah. you evolve it in the beginning of the game, then move up. Yeah, it's... and like the Numemon gains you rush, this one gains you protection, which I think is a little better. The only thing that could then stop them is like yeah. options. You should really cards. do both because some of the Numemons have that Digi Police. Oh, yeah, it is Digi Police though. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. So yeah. like you can run it. Okay, hopefully. And then inherited all turns once per turn when this Digimon it becomes suspended. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers with play cost less than or equal to it, which that's pretty gnarly for Digipolice. I mean, what's green without suspend effects? That's true. Speaking of that, another black green, level six, or Euromon, or however you say that. Uh, it's a level five. Uh, it can Digivolve on top of a level five with X antibody or Digipolice, uh, cost of four. With blocker on its face, when Digivolving a Tamer card with Digipolice trait in this, is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon or Tamers to the bottom of the deck. Doesn't matter the level. Just do it. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then all turns, once per turn, when this Digimon becomes suspended, either by effect or attack, uh, you may play one Digimon card with a Beast Dragon or Digipolice trait and 5,000 DP or less from your hand without pants cost. I see Numimon. <laughs> I, I will yep. immediately say Numemon just to get out of Fritz Satsuki. Yep. Numemon, if you do want to slip these in an Alphamon or a Yukon deck, it's a thing. Or what we probably is going to happen is the Commandermon. Uh, yep. The BT14 Commandermon. Look at the top five, grab whatever you want, and you can choose the top or bottom up for the rest. Which, goddamn. It is a level six, though, so you got to make sure that you have enough room for it. Uh, then we're going down to uh, Lugamon. Everyone's favorite deck. Uh, has anybody uh, has anybody built Lugamon in this call? Not no. in this group. Five. I thought about it at one point and then I gave up. Cause, uh, eh. Urban, do it. I don't want to look at this thing. Nah. 
Uh, okay. Lugamon, rookie level three. Uh, Digiball for two. Mm-hmm. On top of SOC. Uh, cost zero. That causes it. Yeah, it's a level two and a Digiball on top of it for zero. Nice. Uh, when attacking, by trashing one card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's Digimon once it has a DP or less. Eh, pretty normal. Bloodgate removal this type attacking, deal. Yeah. 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 And then uh, if a tamer with the SLC trait is in the source, draw one. Yeah. Pretty good draw. Standard. Uh, it's inheritable, end of attack, once per turn. If your opponent has one or more memory, gain a memory. That's so stupid. Yep. <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. And if you have Fenrir on board, it makes it worse because it's not yeah. even your turn yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. That's so oh, stupid. it's your turn. Oh, wait. Let me gain a memory. Uh, oh, it's back to my turn. It's your turn. Oh, wait. You're at three memories so to make it your turn? Why not? Mm. Why not? Why not? It's the fuck you to the face of everybody else. And the bad part is too is like it's like oh when attacking you're just gonna swing with it and it's gonna die. Mm-hmm. No, you just played out by the effects of Fenrir and all the other yep. ones and yep. wow here here we are. <laughs> Let's see Lugarmon. Uh, did you evolve for a cost of two? Uh, when attacking, or when did you evolving and when attacking? Mm-hmm. My trash can work hard in your hand. Two two K buff for the turn. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty cool. It's not once and then per turn if, either. Yeah, that's just not once per turn. That's so. nope. fucking stupid. Uh, let's see. If a tamer with the SLC traits in the source, draw one. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's inheritable. End of attack. Once per turn. Same thing. If gain a memory. Has a memory. Gain a memory. What the fuck? It's gonna be a ten minute turn. For I know. Fucking, like, y'all thought y'all thought my shit was place. bad. Fuck. And we, got, you know, I'll read these because I, I like the dinosaurs. Uh, we got Brachiomon on play when Digivolving. If your opponent has four, uh, I'm two. back real quick. Uh, I'm very excited that we're getting dinosaur cards. I know, me too. Yes, it's so good. I, know, I have we a need bunch them. of dinosaur bulk. I don't know what to do with. Me too. Ooh. I got so much. I will say, uh, for looking at all the dinosaur support, it looks like it has to be a red deck. Has Otherwise, to you're gonna has whiff. To yeah, it's like, um, just that one card, Tyranno works out. Red, yeah, Tyranno. Like. It's it, it's black. Well, yeah, like there, blue and there's green. just a pure green. red version, it's and then red there's and a green, green and red. So yeah, I like the green and red. So by all means, I'm excited. But where the fuck is the rest Tyrannomon support? Yeah, why? Why? Where why the fuck is that at? They, they they hate us. <laughs> well, now, you say that, but in the new regional prizing, there is a foil Rust Tyranimon Ace. So, yeah. oh, you got awesome. foil instead of support. Well, but you know Digimon, they <laughs> love, to get, love getting us useless cards that we can't use for prizes for some fucking reason. Just hope you get the hollows, brother. Just, just hope you do. Uh, Brachiomon, on player or when Digivolving. If your opponent has four or less memory, one of your opponent's Digimon with 8,000 DP or more can't attack until the end of your opponent's turn. If your opponent has four or more memory, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. This is a great card. I like this. I feel like it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I really I really like it. I feel like it's balanced. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not too good, not too bad. Yeah. Inherited on deletion. Return one of your opponent's Digimon with 7,000 DP or less. It's literally meeting all... It, the Inherited is the middle of the main effect. I like that. Yep. I think that's really good. Now, Cannon Dramon. It's a cyborg. Cyborgs get me hard, bro. Ugh. Oh. Uh, uh, end of turn. It's a level six. End of turn. Once per turn, if your opponent has four or more memory, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with lows, lows DP. End of opponent's turn. Once per turn, if you have four or less memory, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. Punishes your opponent for choking you. Yep. I like it. And then we'll go on to this shit because I know Justin is like wiggling in his boots right now. Uh, <laughs> Mucho Mon. Uh, it's Woo! a level three. Your turn once per turn. When your red Digimon attacks a player, draw one. Okay. That's cool. That's I cool. like that. No inheritable. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty Just good. splash it out, you know, whatever. It, it's going to be good in pre release. It's more kind of for, you know, red rookie rush, maybe. Yeah. It's going to be good in pre release. <laughs> uh, then we got Akatorimon. A- 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 a little four. That sounds good. 
Uh, your turn once per turn. When your Digimon attacks a player, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Three doesn't DP or less. Just fuck your f floodgate. Just get it out of here. Yeah. Get, get that floodgate out of here. Yeah, all right, Justin. Oh yes, sir. Or you and Eric Lord can like coming. you and Eric can like tag team this. I don't care how you do it. No, that's the that's the other that's the other side of the spectrum. Uh, this is the spectrum of poop. I'm out, uh, I'm out the other hole. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, that ain't me. That ain't me. All right, first we're gonna get the level four Garamon <gasps> on play on deletion by trashing one card with Numon or Sukumon. There you are, brother. In its oh. name from your hand, you may play uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one until the end of your opponent's turn. It's also treated as a Numamon. Inheritable when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one until the end of their turn. I, I don't know I why they that, did this. That might I be don't... really fun. Mm -hmm. Like, again, it works. And if you look at the other Garamon oh, we get, you can discard Sukas on play to trawl two cards. Interesting. Yeah. Now, I feel like in a lot of things this can be good but i feel like this is a one of compared oh, to you yeah. would still play oh, yeah. four of the other one. Oh yeah. yeah it's just more of his attack because otherwise the minus work. security is all right but it's well, how far will I mean, that I get save you the game too oh, wait, well, sometimes it, it depends you're also gonna see you're, you're gonna see your deck fighting for space how much do you want to put in here how how hard do you want to go with oh i really like this card but i really like the old cards Oh, yeah. We got the Monzimon X Anybody. Got Level that. 5. Digivolves on top of a Monzimon without X Anybody trait. And then when Digivolving, this Digimon has a card with Monzimon in its name or X Anybody in its Digi Evolution cards, you may play one Numamon or Level 3 Digimon card from your hand without playing the cost. All turns once per turn when another Digimon is played. For each of your Digimon, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Already, like we said earlier, so with the D Brigade stuff, you just play out the fucking Rush Numamon, and you so can get a good. Satsuki on board as well. So good. Uh, let's see. Then we get the Numamon X Anybody. Did you same thing on top of a Numamon without X Anybody trait? All turns, if this Digimon has Numamon or X Anybody in its Digi Evolution, it gains on deletion. You may play a Digimon card with Numamon in its name. From your trash without paying the cost. Now, can anyone tell me why this is good? Because you're always deleting Numemon. Mm -hmm. No, you can play oh. Platinum Numemon, yeah. oh, the Platinum level six. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then, as soon as you on play yeah. him, you can ditch a Numemon or a Monzimon. Or I think it's just a Numemon. Gain two, yeah. three memory. Yeah, yeah. I'm not looking forward to this deck. It, wow, it's, that is it's insane. Something. Yeah, and you see, this deck is just topping. It's just straight up topping because of that motherfucker. Yeah, and they still have room to put in, like, Ruin Modes, Death Xs, the Venus only, Mon. The only thing is you have to basically... If you're going to put training cards in this, which you kind of do sometimes, you have to choose a color, either yellow or black, but more people tend to go towards black because you just hit more of your new Mons that way. Yeah, and then you technically get the Monzimon now, the War Monzimon. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, you know... Three on top of a Numemon, on play when Digivolving, by trashing one card with Numemon in its name in your hand from your Digimon's Digi Evolution sources, de-Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Always a good effect. Always. Mm -hmm. You always seem to like. And then on play, by placing one card with Numemon in its name from your trash as this Digimon's bottom Digi Evolution card, all your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of five or less can't attack players until the end of your opponent's turn. Never to rush for you. And then... Like most of the Monze Mons have, it's just gain a security attack plus one if it's got Monze or Numa in the name. So again, that's why I say the Garamon is probably a one, maybe two of, because already you have this stopping Floodgates or Rookie Rush, for example, unless they're just gaining DP. You know what's going to be the longest match? A mirror match between Poop. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Because... Even if it's a mirror match of this Poop or if it's Poop versus Sukumon Poop. It's going to take a minute. All right, Irvin, your favorite bug boy. Yes, me as a grandest player, as an insect player, I love this new insect report. It's you've really been cool. praying for it. Yeah, he's, he's been praying to uh, to Tento Tento Jesus. <laughs> so super shocker. Uh, let's see. Two calls, not two bad. drop. Yeah, not bad. Uh, main to spend one year level six or lower Digimon. 
No, just suspend when, one level six or lower. It's any Digimon on the board. Yeah, suspend one. Oh, one. Ooh. Yeah, any Digimon on the board. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it's got to be yours with the Insectoid. Oh, never mind. One of my Digimon with Insectoid trait gets a 3k buff until the end of your opponent's turn. That's For two good because it, it needs to carry over. Yeah. Because Bugs is pretty weak, top well, end wise as from, well. From what I've seen, you can just suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, get that buff, and just swing over it with piercing. And yeah, I, I think that's more for like getting past blockers. That way, you can get the yeah. uh, the insane uh, security attack pluses that uh, mm-hmm. you can get with bugs. I see this as a four of. I see, mm-hmm. really. especially Easily. for two cost. A security, you know, play it, you know, pretty normal, and then add it to hand. Uh, Hercules Cavaterimon. This is pretty good. Uh, start your main phase and when digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and then one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. So good. And then all turns, when this is suspended, it's not affected by your opponent's Digimon's effects. Pretty dope. Which is pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Good. Of course, they love, love getting cards that just say, hey, chain affected, buddy. And then, uh, Tentomon. Uh, started my main phase by suspending one Digimon, one of my Digimon, with Insectoid, get 3k buff. Carries over. Uh, inheritable. All turns once per turn. One is basic insect shit. Mm. Uh, Digimon deleted in, in battle. Survive. Gain a memory. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. clean, I guess. Pretty good. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. So, uh, I was going to have Air Reef, but then he got up. God damn it. Nah. Uh, we'll start off Divermon. He's a level 5. On play. Trash the bottom three Digivolution cards. One of your opponent's Digimon. Then if your opponent has no Digimon with Digivolution cards... You may play one blue tamer card from your hand without paying the cost. So, you know shit could just play out a Sora and Joe just to do it. Play out play yeah. out that bad boy. Make guarantee next turn you're gonna gain that two memory. I fucking love that. I know I know Izzy creaming this is gonna cream in his pants when he reads this card this Sunday. Some of those fishies or yeah. the burbs. Oh yeah. The, this is crazy. I get to play out a level 5. Uh, not a level 5, but I get to play out a uh, Tamer for free that's blue. Which, I could see this happening in Mirage too. Uh, Crabmon. Uh, it's a level 3. On play, trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if your opponent has no Digivolution cards, draw one. Not bad. Uh, uh, then we got the f- level 4 Cola. On play, trash the bottom two Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if your opponent has no Digimon with Digivolution cards, gain a memory. Essentially, a one cost Digivolution. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. Mm, Justin, can you. Yeah, because it's, getting... it's going to get into your shit, so. What, what would you like me to start at? Uh, Marimon. Marimon's? Uh, level four once per turn by paying two memory delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon. Oh well, well not really that good for a level no. four, but I feel like there is enough buffing effects yeah, to where yeah, you yeah. could do something with it. I'm sure. And Skull Marimon once per turn by paying two memory this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. Then this Digimon may attack. Pretty good. Don't know why it says then it may attack. I mean it could have just done it now Could unless you... the ruling is you pay the memory it goes over to like they have one mm-hmm. and then you get to attack that might be a little different it's different. a free non-blitz or potentially if you're already yeah. suspended yeah well it says then you may attack yeah if you're already, I don't know. if you're already suspended and it says this because that does happen this is this is happens to the other cards it doesn't get to attack because um okay um, superior, our restaurant on superior mode says it it can attack without being suspended. But oh, okay. Even Since if, it mentions it yeah. specifically, yeah. Even if you do pass over memory, you can still attack because you're resolving all effects before their opponent's uh, turn starts. So you just have to make sure it doesn't go unsuspended. Right. Uh, Justin, are you building my Otis mom? I'm not. Oh, okay. Eric, you can read this then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Venom, my Otis mom. Uh, just a face blocker, as uh, a lot of these in this set seem to have. On play, when digivolving, and on deletion. Delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Option card, Venom Infusion. 
main. By trashing one Digimon card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a level lower than or equal to the card trashed. That's already really cool. That's really cool. Uh, if you trashed a card with my in this text, draw two cards. Fucking cool beans. Security. Activate the main effect. Yeah. I could see that working with Leviamon as well if Me you run both too. for some reason. Me too. But, I mean, you It just stalks in your trash. Yeah. I don't know. I think I would just rather do Biting Crush. What is... Is it Ravemon? Ravemon. Ooh. That mm. does the stuff where you do it from the trash. No, it's it's the bear. What is it? The bear. It's a purple. Mm. It has like a, the hibernation mode. Oh, uh, it, Belfamon. Oh, yeah, Belfamon. Could you potentially do Ooh. that with, with Belfamon? Yeah. Hmm. I could see yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't think about Belfi. Ooh, yeah. I mean, you just want to get the Myotismon, but... Yeah, because you put the Belfa, uh, Belfamon in trash. You put the rage you... mode, yeah, and then you yeah. make plays for your getting a rage mode. So it works, but okay. the cost is very high. Yeah, it's yeah. So it just, it depends. If you're at the if you're at the in your turn and you, pay, and you play it, I can see. I can see. It just depends. I can see it as maybe a one or two. Yeah. Of. It's a little too expensive, though, yeah. for six, I think. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Y'all fucking yellow high y'all yellow vaccine <laughs> bitches. All right, get it over with, I, Justin, because you built it first. I OG. will say before we go into this, I feel like this is a point to where yellow strives two ways. Now, before it was like you build it with a lot of recovery, or it's a certain archetype. Like Pulsemon came back. Mm -hmm. uh, you went a Venusmon route to where you're just putting minus security on everything, but it still everyone had certain cards that they would go with. But I think this really spreads it out. Like, if someone has Kentaurus Mod, they're going to run more of oh, these oh. cards than they would the BT-14 cards. But they'll still run some of the BT-14. So it makes an interesting combination of what people are going to play. But New Kyrie for when an effect trashes this card from your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one until the end of your opponent's turn. Start of your turn. If you have two or fewer memory... Set to three. Memory tech. Easy. Hey, hey. All I, turns. I hate to interrupt. Go ahead. But while we were talking doing this, Dylan, uh, the Dilfmon, literally posted a My Otismon deck list and asked it about everybody's thoughts. That's hilarious. <laughs> while we were talking about it. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, you're good. And then uh, all turns, when an effect removes a card from your security stack, by suspending this tamer, one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one until the end of your opponent's turn. So... Pretty decent. I think it goes along the lines of like Venus Mon and things like that. But again, like as we'll see, a lot of these cards are going to go with trashing effects. Uh, then we got the option card for four, Revelation of Light. When effect trashes this card from your security stack, activate its security effect. Uh, the security effect is all of your opponent's Digimon and all your opponent's security Digimon get minus 5,000 DP until the end of the turn. And then the main Wait, one effect second, on second, real quick. I just realized, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I was having a brain fart, yeah. but both of these, I just realized it says when it trashes a card from the screen. Yes. Deck. yes. So they go through when it gets trashed. Yeah, that's so gonna that's, barrier, that's ridiculous. Blinding Ray. Yeah, Blinding Ray. Like, there's plenty well, I was thinking of the Gallimon stuff, personally, just from recent tournament. Okay. Oh, yeah, even if it's your opponent's Gallimon, like, you're just for free getting this. Damn. That's crazy. And then the it's main like, effect. No, 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 you're good. The main effect is search your security stack. You may play a uh, level four lower yellow Digimon card among them without paying oh the cost. Gosh. Then shuffle your security stack. If you have a tamer with Kyrie in its name, place this card at the top of your security stack. Fuck this shit. Fuck this you fucking play bullshit. It, you got Kyrie. You put it on top. Oh, you swung into it. How was I going to know that? Or you trash it and then you activate the security effect. It's kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff you're talking about earlier. It's people are now gonna have to read the card more than before. Oh yeah, because people are just oh, gonna yeah. assume, oh, if you trash, because it's always been like that for trashing, mm -hmm. at least from my point of view. It makes my unless heart there's harder. other cards. Uh, hey, if you trash, you can't do it. Not anymore. It makes being a judge in this game just so hard. It, it just it, it's an extra layer of complication yeah. on top of that. Well, now you have to start thinking, because originally it was blanket effect effect versus just a single effect. And now it's just like, sure. If you read the card, it explains the card, I guess. Yep. Even though we don't want it to. No. Uh, new Gatamon, you know? Yeah. Champion level four. 
So everyone's everyone's excited. We got the new cat. Yeah, it's Elmon. Yep. Uh, when an effect trashes this card from your security stack, you may play this without paying the cost. Just why? And it's a why? yellow vaccine. You can yep. put it in your fucking security for free. I do not understand this shit. That's where I say that this becomes a very divided on oh. what kind of yellow security you're playing. And I guess this better. is making me think that poop security control, like with its security bombs, is nothing compared to this. Because, I mean, you're 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 just getting free plays. Oh yeah, it's, it's all that's fucking awesome. awesome. Uh, also has barrier, so in case it gets on there and it's somehow can gain rush or something, goes out to swing, you're trashing another card. Woo-hoo. Then alternates once per turn. When a card is removed from your security stack, gain a memory, and the inheritable gives barrier. Because why not? Would that count itself? Yeah, because yeah. uh, the alternates once per turn, when a card is removed from your security stack, gain a memory, yeah. and it already has barrier, yep. so... That's good, but the inheritable barrier, it, barrier you too. know, it doesn't have the alterns effect anymore. Yeah. I'm talking about the memory gain. If you trashed it from security, mm-hmm. oh yeah, and it played itself for free, would you just get the free memory? No, from no, being no, played? no, 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 because it missed, missed timing because it wasn't yeah. on the board. Oh. But if say somebody's trying to raid into this, you just activate barrier, trash top your security, and you get a memory. So hold on, um, it mentions specifically when an effect trashes this card. So if you do security by battle? Do these just not go off? Yeah, they don't go it's off. It's more of a security check. That's the main so... thing I like to go to when thinking about this is if you look at Kentaros Mon from BT13, he has an effect where you can trash the top card of your security stack and you can minus 7k something. Yep. You've now trashed something in your security stack, mm. effects go off. Whenever you or do... like you said, if it's like Gallant Mon. Whenever mm. you do a security check, it is removing a card from security trashy is whatever it says trash on the effect so that's why that we have to get in those keywords like whenever we were all learning the game and we had to know the difference between trashing and deleting yep we had to get we had to get used to that that, that is interesting mm. oh yeah and urban why don't you finish up since you also play yellow vaccine uh, hold on, I lost my place. Oh man, we're at the bottom. What yeah, I know. I was keeping up. The... How'd you lose your place? You're keeping up. Uh, the the Tapper Mon, right? Tapier Mon, yeah. Tapier Mon, sorry. You're fine. Oof. Let's I see. Backstain, Holy Beast. Bury your face. Cool. Cool, cool. And Wizard Mon. Ooh. Yellow and purple wizard mom. Yep. Yeah, we already have one. Do we? Yep. It came in the Yellow star deck. Purple? Star deck from Master Mom. Oh. Well, I, I it, it was just it was just a vanilla card. It didn't do anything. No. Uh, this one does stuff. It does uh, stuff though. Yeah, it does. I don't play on deletion by trashing the top or bottom of your security stack. When your opponent's Digimon gets minus six K until the end of their turn. This is technically Beelzemon support because in the Beelzemon event starter deck, they have the Wizardmon X antibody. Yeah. This is technically Beelzemon support. And we're going to skip uh, the shit we got in the uh, yeah, main everybody promos. Knows what, everybody knows what they do. Yeah, everybody knows what they do. I, I want to keep talking about the whole trashing thing yeah, real yeah, quick. I feel, I feel like it's a little too risky almost. Now that I'm looking at like Wizardmon as an example, tra- top or bottom, you know, what if have you you're, do you just not run security bombs? No, and not everything no, has no, effects. No, no, no. Have you have you phased against Yellow Vaccine at your, at your? No. Oh, no. you should definitely. So Yellow <laughs> Vaccine, you're going to recover anyway. But if yeah. you play these cards mixed in, you're recovering, trashing. It's going to be a back and forth. Yeah. Okay. You're, it's more of like, like using just, just look at because I know you played in your deck. Look at the TK Tamer alone. Yes. Grab a yellow yeah. card, recover. So, uh, whenever you get the chance, have Urban play against you with his yellow vaccine. And you're going to think that, wow, Logan's uh, purple Leviomon deck is, like, short in comparison to this bullshit. Because he just constantly taps his shit, gains a memory, keeps it his turn, looks at his security stack as his second hand, and just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, until he eventually just runs out of memory. 
And if you play the mm-hmm. long game, it fucks you over because he'll have all his TKs out and he'd be mm-hmm. able to keep doing his bullshit. I mm-hmm. absolutely hate that. Or you could win because I deck out. Or you could, or you could deck out. He did that. And I'm like, ha! <laughs> That's what you get. It is possible. Yeah. He did it multiple times. But he was, he's learning the deck, so it's yeah, I'm sure he'll get it. Hopefully he'll get it better. <laughs> Not if I keep changing again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh want to talk about that more, Eric? No, that's that's all I, I had to know. comment about. I was just uh, I don't know, I'm so used to running security bombs and stuff like that. I feel like uh, you know, you're gonna accidentally trash one of those eventually and just waste cards. Yeah, that's and this works well. It, it seems like a gamble decks still. that like trash stuff as well. That's like if you look yes, at it's all built for it. Like yeah. I said, Kentaros, Kuda, and Metamon. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff to just tech in there yeah. yeah now we're gonna me and urban have gonna have to swap here in a second uh i'm gonna read the first card and then you're gonna read the second card urban because i just realized it's gamma mon support <gasps> uh so Wait, ultimate no. ultimate slicer bt15 oh. uh, it's an option card main by trashing one card with machine cyborg or soc trait in your hand delete one of your opponents digimon or tamers with the lowest play cost which is pretty good security activate this card's main effect urban read bomber man uh, mm. Bomberman, uh, three cost Evo on top of a Gammon. Uh, on play when Digivolving, when your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3k. And, uh, on deletion, lose a memory until the end of your opponent's turn. So, great. Or Greymon X anybody going on here. Great. Yeah, I like it. Or not Greymon, Greymon. I hate this card. And then all turns, the Digimon <laughs> gains all the effects of the Gammon stuff in their names. Yeah, pretty common. Level Best 5. Shit. Uh, I mean, me as a Gammon player, I, mine's like, uh, tribal, not tribal, uh, I don't know I feel why. like it's, it's more it's of a Gammon. Gammon yeah. is a tribal. Well, yeah, but like, it's strictly the, the Beto Gamma, the, the Weiss Gamma, or the Weiss and Gammon, and the, uh, the now, Gammon. Now, here's Those the Those are the main ones. Now, here's the button. Isn't there like a card that lets you put uh, a Gibbamon in text underneath your level three? Yeah, the Tamer. Yeah. So you keep Digivolving on top of that level three, and eventually, once you get to your level six, if you manage to do it all in one turn, you have somehow made their whole minus twelve k on their entire fucking stack. How that is bro, and lose a memory when are they deleted? So you're gonna gain four memory. Or three memory, or I can't count. But still, that that to me is a four of. Eh, you can see the two, I mean, honestly. I me honestly, I really, I like uh like the Gamma Mon stuff, like a uh, uh Gillymon and uh the the other Ninja Blue one that we got. Ninja, whoa! Uh, I, careful. I really did. I really didn't put those in mind because, you know, like I said, I'm more of the, the Ghoulis, uh, Wezen, and the Battle, and the Cano, and the, uh, I can't know, Cano Weiss, the, the blue one, um, I forget the name. I have no idea. You're the Gamma Mon player. Or right, Gamma Mon oh, player. Yeah, those are like the, the level five. Whichever yeah, one would I, get the ultimate cut for them. Yeah, those four. Blue, those, green, red. Those are better to me because, you know, you get evade. The Digimon oh. can't be blocked. I mean, you can still run those because oh, it's yeah. it's just going to give it to that plus the DP reduction. Yeah, but see, the level five, can the original Cano Y spawn the level five from mm-hmm. a BT. Uh, I don't know, like it's N- just. Nine? I think it's BT. It's nine BT or 10. ten, I think. If you suspend oh, yeah, the nine tamer, was X record. Just go for a, like a three plus two K. Okay, I say I say just two. No, and then like the and then sec one. If you get if you're over twelve K, which you can get to twelve K or more. And then the the RB one Cano Weiss, you just warp into fucking or uh, if you got a Gamma Mon, you can warp into the Cano Weiss. Okay. But, I think I mean, from what I've seen, when you play your deck, is like you well get over like yeah, like Greymon levels of like yeah, yeah. twenty DP or twenty thousand. Yeah. I can't wait. Well, that's like a board wipe then, if that's the case. It is. Uh, that's, it's, and it's then you gain the memory, and you can just play off of it on top of it. And it's mean, raid. I'm... Oh yeah, raid retaliation. Yeah, you get all of that. I'm like, fuck. I hate this deck. I hate it so much. <clears throat> but I mean, I, I'll I'll probably try this out. I'll probably take out the RB1 Cano Weiss's and try I can't this one wait. out. 
I can't wait for him to play it as a four of them and be like, I told you so. And I and I just raise mm. the table. Again, I think four's too much. I think yeah. two or three gives you a little Test bit to play with, but it's not then, taking up too much next know, space. Go from there. I play yeah. three three BT tens, which should be four, but oh, you know. Let's go. I got the I got the the purple <laughs> level five is good. So I'll do like a three a two of the RB ones and like three RB fives. Or three uh of the new level purple mm-hmm. fives. I came in RB one. That's but I might take out the two R B one candle weisses and throw these bad boys in there, see what happens. Okay. I think it'll be fun. Cool. Oh fuck, I'm gonna be talking for a second. Uh so we're gonna start off with Mega I think I think we should start off with in my opinion, the best card in the entire Malik? set, the Tamer. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I think that Tamer is, but one, he looks good. He does look good. Absolutely. Just because of like what all he fits into. Yeah, whenever this card yeah. got, got leaked, I show it to Malik, and Malik is like, yo, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, sure, bud. <laughs> he wishes yeah. he looked this good. Uh, yeah, we can start with Marvin. Uh, Marvin Security, play this card with the Planet Cause, very normal for a Tamer. Uh, start your main phase by trashing one card with machine or cyborg or SOC trait in your hand. Gain a memory. It's very similar to, to me. That is a better start of main effect than analog man because I believe analog man's like, only a little fives. Like me and Justin were talking like a few weeks ago. Might put this in Rust Tyranomon. Good, you could. It's a cyborg. You That's why I think yeah. it's one of the best. Is because SOC is such a popular thing now, and it gets bigger. Cyborg, it's my, up there. Cyborgs don't have a lot of support, and machine. My only thing machine is 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 consistency, especially with training cards, because you will play be playing green training cards in that deck profile, just to reduce the play cost to make sure you get into your rest to for as little memory, memory as possible. But I can still see it as a deck because it's an inher- tiger. Of course, he inher- still has stuff that works with it. Oh yeah, most did. Yeah. Well, his inherited when attacking once per turn, just D D G evolve one of your opponents to Digimon. Pretty gnarly. Cool. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm like I'm reading Mega Dramon. Oh, this. I, mean, with I, the, I, I was uh, reading Mega Dramon. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> inherited, Jamming. inherited all turns while well as Digimon has a machine cyborg or SOC. It gains jamming and blocker, which that's pretty good. End of all turns, you just may detach it for free, which is pretty good. Now, Mega Dramon. Uh, on play when Digivolving, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Place one card with a machine, cyborg, or SOC, trait among this Digimon's bottom Digivolution cards, and add one such to your hand. Trash the rest. When attacking, if this Digimon has a Tamer with SOC trait and Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamer with a play cost three or less, which that is very fading of Mega Dramon, because that's what he did before. And then, of course, DD Evolve is inheritable. Um, this caters directly to mine and Eric's, now Eric's, uh, Machine yep. Your Monday. Thank you, by the way. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, because <laughs> those cards are not cheap now. Yep. They are not cheap. But yeah, very great card. I This is unfortunately an SR. I, I see in box opening videos where they only pull one. Oh wow! It's, yeah, it sucks. It happens. So I'm probably just gonna hold my cash and just buy singles, like after yeah. a week after they come out, because we have a we have a minute between BT15 and BT16. So, so yeah. Now, Tyranomon. Woohoo! Yay! Rush Tyranomon support now. No. Uh, no. <laughs> It's blocker on the face, on play, reveal top four cards of your deck, add one Digimon card and one Tamer card, both with SOC trait among them to hand, return the rest of the bottom of the deck. If you add it, trash one card in your hand. So close. If, oh, close. if it just didn't say the SOC trait. Yeah, would be cooking. Could have had it. Oh well, maybe, maybe next up. Uh, Air Dramon, which is also pretty good. Uh, on play when Digivolving by placing one Marvin Jackson from your hand under this Digimon as bottom Digivolution. D Digivolve one of your post Digimon. Pretty, pretty dope. And then we got some fodder. Uh, Bakemon when Digivolving on Delusion, draw one trash one. Inherited Retaliation. Demi Mara, we get a new one for purple. Uh, inherited Unleashing by trashing one level five or higher card from your hand. Draw two. That's kind of, that is a little bit better. And then Kennelmon, 
on the leash and if your opponent has one or less memory draw one if your opponent has one or more memory gain one memory pretty good pretty good now unfortunately izzy is not in this podcast who wants to talk about birds on israel's behalf hell yeah eric Eric he beat you to it no i was i was just adding a comment but i mean i'll do it if you want to twist my arm about it (laughs) this for you izzy Biomon. Start of your main phase by trashing one car- uh, Digimon card with avian, bird, beast, animal, or sovereign other than sea animal in one of his traits from your hand. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one red card among them to your hand. Return the rest to the bottom. That seems really freaking cool. I like that. <laughs> Inherited. Your turn. Once per turn. When a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, gain a memory. That's really cool, especially for level three. I mean, that's oh, always going to be on the bottom of a card. Fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, Phoenixmon, on play, on deletion. Uh, if your opponent has three or fewer security cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. Fucking, okay. Just mm-hmm. get rid of it. Yep, get out. If your opponent has four or more security cards, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Get out of here. Fucking get rid of it. <laughs> with Digifolfing, you may play one red Digimon with 5,000 or less, or one red Tamer card from your hand without paying the memory cost. Hell yeah. That is ridiculous. Izzy is creaming in his goddamn pants. I can go, I can imagine that is that is so that is that's insane. Oh yeah, wait till you hear And it only gets better with the X antibodies yeah. that come out. Oh, God. I guess no. not a lot, but it's it it's helps. A lot. Let's see, we got two more bird yeah. boy stuff. We got Birdramon. When digivolving, return one red uh, Digimon card with avian, bird, beast, animal, or sovereign other than sea animal in mm-hmm. one of its traits from your trash to the hand. Cool beans. Keep your stuff. Inherited. Your turn. Once per turn. When a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, <laughs> gain a memory. So good. Oh, that's a level four, too. So yeah. you're going to have to gain a memory from uh, the level three. Gain a memory from that one. Then you have the level six. God, jeez. Yeah, I'm so excited. Meteor like Wing. It. We got because, one last. Like, it's crazy. Because the deck swapped from like, oh, it's all on deletion effects yeah. to where now you actually have effects that if, you know, you can play the on deletions, which are great, but like... Yep. Now you have other stuff you can go yeah. into where it's like, thank God, I don't have to just die, and that's my effect. Yeah, it was absolutely the, ridiculous. It was the reverse because birds was just doing activating the on deletion, whereas dragon links was activating the on deletion off the tamers. But I'm happy to see this. I think it'll be great. You think so? I think so. Uh, one last bird thing for Israel. Hey. We have meteor wing an option. Uh, four costs. Uh, main, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 15,000 DP or less. For each of your opponent's security cards, subtract 2,000 from the maximum this DP-based uh, deletion effect can delete. Security, activate this card's main effect. So, it's... That is odd. It, it sucks in the beginning, but the more that you're in trouble, the better it helps. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, honestly, it's more of a win more card. Because you delete 15,000 or less, but for each card, each security card they still have, you subtract two. So if they're at five, you can only delete 5,000 DP. So it's more of a win more card. Apparently by the time, if they have that much security, either you're sucking it up and losing, or two, um, it's early in the game, so it's not going to matter anyways. Maybe that's wrong. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, though. It's for a four of. It's a tech. It's neat. It's pretty good for a four of. And you search it off with the red training, too. Yep. Always great. You got a visitor, uh, Justin. <laughs> As he disappears. There uh, goes my hero. For a three cost. Walk your my man. favorite <laughs> card out of this mother. F- and it's only a rare. Out of this whole set. I've been. I creamed my pants whenever I saw this card revealed. You saw it. I saw it. Everybody it's saw it. After you got done crying. Oh, my. I said, I will never ask Bandai for anything ever again. For three costs, Supreme Connection. Main. Yeah. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one card of a machine or cyborg trick among them to your hand. And trash a machine or cyborg trick among them. Return to the, the rest to the top of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. Main delay. You may play one level 5 or higher Digimon card with machine or sidebar trait from your hand with the reduced play cost of 3. Let me tell you. I gotta explain this. That's that's insane. You play. 
EX1 Machine Drama. Tuck five, a level five cyborgs under it. You gain five memory. Then you activate this. You essentially gain three more memory. Making that le that level six that you just on played four memory. That's all it takes. And it's got a protection. Okay. Yes! That's what I wanted. <laughs> it's no longer Digivolving Up Boys. It's just hard playing again. Four, yep. four, four. Now, by all means, I think I'm still going to have the Digivolving. I'm still going to have level threes and level fours. I don't think I'll go back to Mother. But with w me playing Machine Demon right now, with the Hover Espies, I'm already kind of just playing that playstyle anyways, because Hover Espies is a must of in any Machine Demon deck. These people are running around without it, or fucking retards. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, then secure the security effect, reveal the top five cards of your deck, add one card of Machine or Cyber Trick to the hand, trash one, then return the rest to the top of the deck, then place this card in your battle area. It just activates itself for you. Yep. So good. So good. Thank you, Bandai. I will suck your dick if I could. Uh, then we got Giga Dramon. Uh, on play, reveal top four cards of your deck. Add two level six higher Digimon cards among them to your hand. Return the rest to the bottom deck. You can grab your machine and your chaos. Fucking amazing. Inherited yep. to three boot. And then Machine Dramon. It's a tick. Uh, it's a one of, if that. No. On play, when attacking, D Digivolve 2, one of your opponent's Digimon. Your turn, this Digimon can only Digivolve into a white Digimon. End of opponent's turn, delete this Digimon, then you may play one Digimon card with Dark Master's trait, other than Machine Digimon from your hand without paying the cost. So, unironically enough, this Digimon is weird. Because it technically is for support for a card that nobody remembers. But it relates back in BT2, and it is probably my favorite alt art in the game, Millennium On. Because uh, it is a white Digimon. Uh, Millennium On is a level 7, and it evolves on top of a 6 off of a black Digimon. Uh, or purple. When Digivolving, return one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of their deck. Trash all their Digivolution cards of that Digimon. And on deletion, if this card had Digivolution cards, you may play this card from your trash without paying the cost. It ironically is that, but you would never do it. It's just not that good. It's more for Apocalypse Mom. It's crazy to think, though, if you look back on it, like, that's what boss monsters used to be in Digimon, though. That's, yeah, that's exactly what and it's just a show of progression. Mm -hmm. It's great. Um, I really thought that it, if you did um, attack at the heavy metal machine, you'll give this thing rush. Uh, you can only get rush if it has an evolution an evolution card under it, so it won't get it. So, other than that, it might be a one of if that. So, it's all right. But what I'm interested in is the DG evolution line. Hagurumon. On play, so level three. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with machine or cyber, and one black tamer card among them to the hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck. We got another way to search for analog, man. Thank you, yep. Bandai. And now Jacksons. Thank you, thank, th and now Jacksons. Thank you, Bandai. I, I love you so much. I will buy every product. Uh, Gardramon. We get a new Gardramon on the space as a blocker. Uh, on play when Digivolving by trashing one core machine or a cyborg trait from your hand, one of your Digimon can't be deleted by opponent's effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Your turn, while your opponent has no Digimon, this Digimon can attack, and of course inherit its reboot. Fucking phenomenal. I love it, I love it, I love it, I want to suck Bandai's dick. Uh, and then just because I know there's one in here, our Melga player, our resident Melga player, why don't you continue with Foxfire? If you have been paying attention. I am. I see. So four drop uh, main. Return one of your opponents level four lower to the hand. If you have a Digimon with Gabu or Garuru in his name, return one of your opponents Digimon with the lowest level to the hand instead. So good for a cost. Yeah. Uh, security, activate the card. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. And it it's might seem security. like it's bad, but overall, a bit against most decks, that's a one stack. Yeah, yeah it, it's cause... good. If you only have like a uh, a death X on field, you can pop that death X to him. Bye bye. 
I mean, sadly, if you do that, though, they're just going to on-play it again. But but if you're just playing... If you're playing Melga, it's only one stack anyway, so... No. Uh, Marvin, keep going. The Pokemon... Yeah, make sure you're the right one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Space Blocker. Mm -hmm. uh, on play on deletion. Trash top two digit deletion cards of all your opponents, Digimon. Really fucking nice. God damn. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Izzy is creaming in his pants. Then return one of your opponents, Digimon, with no digital deletion cards at the bottom of the deck. I hated that so much. <laughs> <laughs> he, I had, each turn, I had a Gallantmon. He's like, oh, you know, just I'm going to trash this, trash those two, trash this, trash those three. Bottom deck the gal, I'm on X. Three times in a row. But it made me upset. Make note, that is a level six. Yeah. Yep. It is a level six. And then we got uh, Seedramon. Uh, yep. That, on the face. Really, just get, yeah, just rush. Fuck just, it. Just Why rush. Not? And then here it is, jamming, which... We got a level four jamming. Oh shit! Get no. uh, oh, Bandai needs to ban it. God forbid an inheritable has ba has fucking jamming. God forbid. And it's not XV Mon. It's not XV Mon. Uh, Urban, he can continue with Gabu and Garuda. Uh, let's see, Gabu Mon. Uh, start a main. When your Digimon gains blocker, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Level three instead of the level six, getting blocker. It gets it to the end of the opponent's turn, and then if you have a tamer with Matt in his name, draw one. Little, kind of like a little, little Agumon action right there. Mm -hmm. Little Gumon. Uh, inheritable when attacking, draw one. Pretty common. Very common. Uh, Guru Ramon, Evo for two. Uh, with Gabumon in his name. Uh, when did you have him? If you have a tamer with Matt in his name, draw one. If you don't have a tamer with Matt, you can play one card with Matt and it's named from your hand with the cost reduced by three. And so like your little basic level four when did you bob and drop a tamer. Yeah. But uh, I like this one as the extra effect of drawing if you do yes. have the tamer on board. Yeah, if you do have it, draw one. Yeah. And the inheritable when attacking, once per turn again, draw, draw one. one. So Bandai's uh defense on banning the guru the dual color uh guru cards? is future proof yep they they want to be able to make more cards that you actually want to buy the boxes for which okay i mean i get that but yeah but we're gonna skip this a bunch of this fodder because nobody's playing dark masters <laughs> and nobody <laughs> care about this color's cards and the appearance of my dragon mode is just a reprint and yep. all the other shit we'll more bug to... stuff yeah bugs. more bugs carried away at clash of knowledge Ah, see, Clash of Knowledge. To spend one of your opponents to Jamon, then if you have a Tamer with Izzy on board, one of your opponents to Jamon gains on deletion, trust the top card of your security until the, until the end of their turn, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Really Very nice. nice. And then the security effect, to spend one of your opponents to Jamon, and then add the card to hand. Oh, cool. It's a four drop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, three. You know what it is? That's the it's a three drop. It's third drop, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, third drop. I was looking at the tamer. And then the tamer, Izzy. Uh, start a main, you know, memory setter. Cool beans, cool beans. Uh, opponent's turn, when punch Digimon attacks, suspend the tamer, redirect it into one of your suspended Digimon with Insectoid. Oh, oh analog, man. It's an analog, oh. man. I can't wait for it to get limited to one and I'll ultimate go up. Can't wait. It's Buckcatcher, jeez. Hmm. And security plus play it, yeah, nice. It, for me, this is a like a one or two of in the deck. Really? For me. Yeah, for me. I mean, if we're going off of I mean, I, mod four, I mean, it'd be, yeah, but it has to be one of your uh, yeah, suspended Digimon. Yeah, that's true. So I feel like that's good because you're gonna suspend a lot anyways. It's basically um fucking uh Cherrymon. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, and if you look at the Hercules that we talked about earlier, oh, you're going to yeah. probably swing piercing and then unaffected. Yeah, so. No retaliation for purple. Uh, the Modimon, uh, this is going to be my... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it might be a, a 3 and 2, because I still like the yeah. the 1k buff. But the, the Modimon, end of attack, or end of turn, 
my insectoid can just tech Do your shit. Digimon. Yeah. yeah. It has to be uh, unsuspended, but it, yeah, it, it's, it's still good. Yeah. It's still super good. And then the Kavuterimon, uh, when it's suspended, it's not affected by your opponent's Digimon's effects. Hell yeah. It's just, it's neat. I just, I like the, the insect protection non suspension. It's really nice. And then Inheritable, once, uh, all turns, once return, delete Digimon, survives again in memory. Oh, yeah. Uh, ah, I, I like this ace. I don't like ace cards, but I like this ace. Fair. Uh, let's see. Nah, somebody can read the Angel one more. Okay, I can. Since I will be playing Mastermind. Huh. Boo. I have the cards. I'm so glad I got the cards before they hiked up in price. Good lord. Mm mm. Uh, Angel Mod Ace. Hand or counter. Blast Digivolve. So good. Uh, on play when Digivolve in by trash the top or bottom card of your seer stack. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 until the end of the turn. All turns will return when a card is removed from security. If you have three of your recovery plus one. Not too bad. And then, you know, uh, the overflow three because it's a five. So. Yeah. Yeah. See, Mega Capitari Mon Ace. Uh,. On play when digivolving, when a Digimon gets a 3k buff until the end of your opponent's turn. Then if your opponent's Digimon is attacking, I can switch the attack target to this Digimon. Uh, all turns when the Digimon is suspended, it's not affected by effects, your Digimon's effects. So pretty nice because, you know, everybody's uh, deleting uh, 7k or less or all that good stuff mm -hmm. that these decks here lately are doing. Yeah. And was that it? Yeah, that was okay, it. Okay, on that one. Okay, I'm to save some time for us. I'm gonna get go over to the important cards. Uh, Nyromon. This is an amazing egg. When attacking, once per turn, by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack, gain a memory. Just fuck. Why not? Uh, oh, we're, gonna, why not? we're gonna skip a whole bunch. Uh, I think you should go with the Salamon though. Salamon. All right, we'll go Salamon. If you, since only you ask, Salamon, level 3, start of your main phase. If you have three or more security cards, you may add the top card of your security stack to hand. If you have two or fewer, by revealing a yellow and yellow card with a vaccine trait in your hand, place that card at the top or bottom of your security stack. All turns will appear when a card is made for your security stack. Whenever your opponent's Digimon gets a minus 2,000 for the turn, I see this Salamon and the Gatomon going hand in hand. Yep. That is, that is busted. And then we're just going to skip all this shit. We don't care about Wolf of Friendship. It's just a screenshot of the anime, anyways. It's ugly. Yeah, it well, is a good card. It is a good card. Uh, where Garurumon Ace? This this is good as shit. Uh, Urban, read it off. Back up. There we go. Uh, let's see. When did you evolving? Draw one. Then if you have five or more cards in your hand, trash one card in your hand. Did I read that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I read that right. Okay. And then uh, alternate return. When your Digimon effect adds a card to your hand, when your opponent's Digimon or cameras can't be suspend until the end of your opponent's turn. It's a nice little stun right there. Yeah, nice little. Nice little. I think it's decent. I don't think you need it, yeah. though. I think it's like yeah, a, you don't need it's it. only like a one of. Maybe. Uh, then we got the Yokomon. Uh, inherited on leash and return one of your Digimon with avian, bird, beast, animal, or sovereign, other than sea animal. You want to have it from your trash to your hand. Great recycle. Then we got a Sora. Start of your turn. It's a memory setter. If you have three, if you memory, set it to three. All turns when a red Digimon is returned from your trash to the hand. By returning this tamer to hand, you may play one red Digimon card with avian bird based animal or sovereign other than sea animal. And one of its traits and 13,000 DP or less from your hand without paying the cost. For each of your opponent's security cards, subtract 2,000 DP from the card you play with this fit. Not too shabby, not too shabby, and this is just some uh, some magazine leaks. Uh, the only thing that really stands out is the Garuda Mon Ace. Uh, hand counter, Blast Digi Evolution, uh, on play when Digivolving. You may play one red Tamer card with a play cost of four or less from your hand without paying the cost. All turns, once per turn, when, you're, when your Tamer card is played, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Walker. Just straight up delete it. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, 
So, not bad. Not bad. Overall, it's going to be a good set. I can't wait to rage. All right. Deck profiles. Do we want to do that? Uh, I mean, we still can. Still can. Okay. Uh, we're going to flash through it. Real quick. Lightning speed. Lightning <laughs> speed. Uh, who Let's dog in real quick if you want to go in the start. I got a sassy dog. Okay, okay. I'll start off. I just right. I built this like a couple hours ago. So this is Dan Devimon. We're doing four Dan Devimons from BT4. We are doing a mandatory of four of Nidhogmons. Gross. Gotta love it. Uh, then we're doing two Lilithmons. Gross. Uh, we're doing four Neo Devimons. Gross. I wish they printed another one of these. I really wish. They did, technically. 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 And then we got Lady Devimon because she is a Devimon. A lot of these effects say Devimon in the name. And then because, as Eric said, this is stupid. Uh, BT14 Devimon. Yep. So good. So good card. I love it. Because it's stupid. It's stupid. Yep. And then thanks to Justin. A lot of this is from Justin, by the way. <laughs> uh, we got EX1 Devimon. The on deletion, return one purple level four lower Digimon card from which I your hand. Love it. And then we just got two of the uh, BT2 recently in RB1 uh, Devimon. And probably the best card in this deck. Is where did the other one go? Did I drop it? Purple Penny? I probably dropped it. I probably dropped it somewhere. Uh, this needs to be a four of. Uh, four of the Dan, uh, the De Demi Devimon from the promo. Uh, the on deletion. If you have seven or more Digimon with Devimon in their names in your trash, you may play one Dan Devimon from your trash without paying the call. Pretty busted. Mandatory. Mandatory four of. Uh, Demi Devimon from BT8. Nice little searcher. And just because I can't find another one, we're doing two of the Sukaimon from the Angelomon starter deck. And Those are cool. One of each of the band Gabumons because purple is goaded, as Eric shows off. Mm. We're doing four Darkwing Delusions. Also pre -release I stopped came. clicking a little bit ago. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Pre-release came from Justin, in case anybody wondering. Uh, the the blue Pokemon energies are proxies uh, for Wisdom Trainings. Because I'm lazy, and I don't want to take them out. I'm not leaving them. And then, surprisingly, I was surprised to see this, uh, two Kari's. Hmm. Uh, specifically, when a card is removed from your secure stack by suspending this timer, gain one memory. It goes well with the Dan Devimon. Really good. Boom. And then we do two Demi Maras and three Xiaomon because you'll definitely have more than 10 in your trash and you want the retaliation. That is Dan, yeah. that is Dan Devimon. All right. Uh, who wants to go next? I guess I will. Okay. okay. I went with our uh, a local fan favorite, I'd say, oh, no. going into EX5. Oh, no. uh, Grace Nova. Ooh. Gonna go with four Sun Mons because the blue one's good, but again, I feel like the blue one makes you pay for the memory of the Digivolve, so I'd rather minus it by one. Then we got four of the Core Mons. Yeah, Ooh. tripped out too. I try. <laughs> hey, if you're good, you're good. Yep, you got the money. And then four of the Luna Mons. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sadly, that's it for our threes until we get a uh, four. <laughs> yeah. Although we could upgrade it. Some of the best cards in this deck, the more and more I play. Four Lickismon. Oh, Licky Licky. And then four of the Flaremon. Ooh, Flaremon. Next. As you can see, it's very consistent with four ups. Oh, yeah. Four of the uh, Cressmon. Ooh. Yeah, drop that camera. Drop it, buddy. Drop it. Mm, Let's see them hands, dude. Oh. oh. Four of the oh my God. Claremon. Nice, nice. Uh, probably one of my favorite cards in this deck. 
and favorite AA of this fucking set for Apollo Mon. <laughs> oh my god! Look at look at that. Yeah, too. Yo, look at that divine yeah. Neos. That's exactly the what that shit is. Right. What a cool dude. Uh, if only. If only. For Dianamon. Now I do this a little bit different than some people. Some people run three, but I run two Grace Novas. That's fair. That's fair. Two, I can two, see that. Two's all you need. You'll see two's it. All you, need. you you'll see it. You'll you'll see it with if when you learn how to search, you'll see it. Four of the red, Co and Sayo. What about the blues? Oh, really? Because we play. Four oh, of those. oh <laughs> I can't believe it. Yo, he did the thing. And Who'd have thunk? <laughs> And the rest of it is kind of up to option, but I feel like this is what I'm enjoying at the moment. I might change it a little more, but right now it's three of the Good Night Moon, three of the Phoebus Blow, okay. and then the special little text: one Ice Wall, one Crimson Blaze. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Crimson blaze. So Season not memory top. boost, but again, it helps to kind of... And if I were to change it around a little, I would probably take another Phobius Blowout, maybe put another Crimson Blaze in. Because every Blazing. single deck's going wide at the moment. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, it is. Sick. All I right, Eric, go. go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> He's so excited. Let, let third place go. Third oh, place. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in order. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. This third is this place. is who beat me 2 0 by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> and got third place somehow, you know. Yeah. Somehow. Uh we run three BT twelve Gigimons. Adds a thousand to on deletion. Mm. So I can pop a level five essentially. One Gigimon from uh BT two. Uh one mm -hmm. K buff. Mm -hmm. If you have five or more in your trash. And then just the the good Gigimon. On one attacking, draw one. Mm -hmm. But no, I like the. He's eating the apple. I like the the one k deletion buff. Okay. Uh, one Kalumon. It should be two, but it deck space is tight. I think I got one if you need it. I got two, but again, okay, the space is so tight. So be it. Deck space is I guess. Tight. <laughs> yeah, man, one warping Giamon because the Takados you can just yeah. matrix, so it's the same thing. Fair, fair. Uh, we got three starter deck Guillemons. Oh man, this man's cheating. So, uh, I mean, it's like a card. The starter ones is the same as the warp one. Man. Yeah, but I'm gonna take these out for something else. Oh, okay. That's I don't know what, but but the one of is gonna be in there. We got four, uh, what is that? BT12, it just searches for Takatos, I think. Yep, that's the yeah, all Takatos all searcher. Tocados. Yep. And then we run four of the good searcher. At you, uh, grab. Muted, just in time. <laughs> yeah, just in time. Is there a dab after we're in? Uh, four of the, again, BT12. When did you even drop a Tammy if you don't have one? Must. Must have. Starter deck, four. Uh, inheritable, Digimon's deleted, you gain a memory. So you, you essentially can get like four memory back off a of good stack. Two Grum on X, I don't know, just because, why not? Just because it's cool, I guess. It, it, was, it was the OG X antibody. Four, BT12 War Growls. Uh, when did you bother and delete one your Digimon? If nothing was deleted, level six for a reduced cost of one. Just cheat. And inheritable end of attack. If you delete everything on your opponent's board and there's nothing, you gain two memory. Pretty sick. Cool beans. Uh, we got two EX3 War Growls. Uh, when did you bother being mill three? And then uh, if I have one more, I can play a Guillemot Takato for free. It should be more, I believe, but I don't know why I only put two. Oh, this deck list is like, yeah, it's a this deck list is a year old. Mm. Three War Girl X's because it's, it's so good. So good, especially so in this good. format. Mm. Yeah. Now, what should have been ran in the tournament? Four raid gallant mons. Mm. Where were they? 
Uh, I don't know. You didn't even need him. In the mail. He talked. In the mail. <laughs> And if you would have played mail, you got first. That's what he's saying. Yeah. One B two twelve gallon mon when attacking trash for every ten. Nice. One digi evolving. Uh, fiber tamer. Pop something level six or less. He's got to read the card. Yeah, I, I don't play that one. <laughs> often. No, reading the card explains the card. Oh really? I it's funny how that works. I don't. Play gallon mon X antibody. Two of two of. Uh, delete Digimon. Nothing was deleted. Unsuspend. Unsus. Very good card. Unsus, man. I'm suspicious. Oh, and then my turn, Vigimon oh, was deleted, and, and I have a Red Tamer, or X Antibody, or Gallimon. Just trash the top card security. Oh, yeah. That's the one I really liked when I played Gallimon when I first started. And two Crimson, Crimson Modes. Yeah, I, found, I saw both of them, too. Crimson modes. <laughs> yeah, he, he, popped, he popped one. I just he played the other. <laughs> back to back. That's how you yeah, that do it. Sweet alt art though, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's a great card. When you get into it, it's great. That's so nice. But that's the Three problem. Three Is it the, yeah, it yeah. memory it. setter. Uh, you the sometimes card. matrix. I used to matrix a lot just because it was fun, but now we don't. He's now I was... don't find myself matrixing with this. He's but a, it's, it's a good memory about? setter. What do you mean matrix? Matrix you're like was, zone for uh, a second, or you're like, yeah, I used to go to the Matrix, but eh, it's not my, it's not my thing. Well, they took look, it from the show because Takata yeah. and them like that was went what together War, War and went the gallant. Oh, yeah. okay. I was thinking like the movie, The Matrix. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, like, that's what we're talking to about. Eric okay. Like to Matrix, you gotta have a Guillemon and then pick the Kato, put it under with a Warbrow. Yeah. It's a, it's Warp and for Guillemon in that three hand. Level six. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very few cards do it. And then three EX2 Takados, very good Takado. Blitz, Digimon deleted, your opponent's side, tap, gain a memory. Mm -hmm. Really good. This card really came in clutch for me at the tournament. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'd always level five in the back up to Wargrox anybody. <laughs> My turn, promote. <laughs> uh, Two red memory boosts should be the red oh, trainers, trainers, but... Yeah. Uh, it's still pretty good. It did oh, yeah. be pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think and when then... you play a heavier Digimon, memory boost is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. And then two X antibodies. Oh yeah, X antibodies, goading. As we say. According to what you said earlier, we now know that the deck is at least, at least fourteen dollars. Yep. At least. <laughs> at least. Eric. Yeah. Minimum. Give or take a few. So this is not how I would prefer it to be ran. I would like to tweak it a little bit, but it's all good. It's all good, no hurt. So, Work my good. Egos. I used to run four uh, Pogumons. Now I've just got two because I was testing around with the Tokemons, mm. which I run three of. Tokemon, ah. fun stuff. Ooh. Cool five eggs, let's go. Shiny. Yeah, it's really cool beans. I want to start from the bottom because I stacked it wrong, so that's pretty cool. That's um, so we'll start with the options. <laughs> let's go. Of course, I'm... if you're playing, if you're playing poop, you gotta shit on some fools, man. Oh, oh. your green screen is fucking up. Oh, oh. You gotta shit on some fools, man. Suka's curse. Suka's curse. That's Oof. where it's at, man. Make them scared of you. They should be scared of you. You're pooping on them. Me. Tactical retreats. Two of them bad boys. Security bomb. I don't care if you trash it. I do, but you shouldn't. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Gallimon. So, we got three TKs. Check out security. Let me put some bombs in there. Surely there's something. It's cool beans. Cool beans. Uh, I run four of the brand new EX5 Metal Edamons. That beautiful yes, altar. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I wonder where the A came from. Ooh, it's so nice. Thank you. I want to know where the deck welcome. came from. No. Oh. It was a team effort. It really a was effort. a team effort. Oh a team God. effort of everyone being like, take this. Yeah, we want the we shit. Always. I'll give it to you. We always gave Eric the poop cards because we weren't going to build it. Now we are going to build it. Um, You're we all run fakers. Three King Sukumons. King Sukumons. I got the cool new tournament pack one. Ooh, Ooh that, nice. that's an expensive card right now. It's like nine bucks or seven bucks. Uh, these are the ones I don't really want. No, uh, I've got an EX5 Edamon and then a promo Edamon. I probably want to run four or like half and half, but I've only got one of each. So, you know what? It twerks. It twerks. It twerks. Whatever. It twerks. Probably my favorite card in this set currently, the uh, BT14 Edamon, beautiful security bomb. Mm -hmm. 
If you got if you got some shit in your trash, get it. Play a monkey. Play a monkey. It's level six for free. I don't care. Do it. Monkey. Beautiful yeah, part. Nine hour calm down. This deck's kind of <laughs> shitty. I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. I'm glad you understand. Just saying. So. Next, we got our BT14 Sukumon securities. Paradise. Put them up there, play them for free. Hey, then you can get that Adamon out. Boom. It's cool beans. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm getting? <laughs> <laughs> BT11 Sukumons. I like just getting shit and putting shit in trash. Because I need shit in trash to do shit on the game. Shit on them fools. Shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Shit on the floor. Oh, shit, shit on, on the, the floor. floor. Yeah. <laughs> we got a Target Mons. He don't know what he is, but he's a Sukumon Ed Edamon. Mm. I he, believe him. He, he's a, that's a great card, actually. Very good card. Blocker, and you get to keep it if you want to. Y'all's version of Garamon. Yeah, really Icing on top. Mm. The BT11 Chumons. Choo -choo. Beautiful. I don't like how he costs one the Digivolve on an egg, Yo, it's but Remy. you can cost one less on a Digivolve. It's cool beans. It's Remy. From Ratatouille. What? <laughs> Remy, <laughs> uh, these, boy. the EX5 Chumons, uh, beautiful when you combo some Inherited to play Chumons for free, because if you block with the other one, uh, you just get to reveal top three cards and uh, play on some more shit. I'm just saying, <laughs> this deck, it plays shit. That's what it that's does. A, a, it does it well. That's a big pile of shit. You'll see some old-ass cards. Check this out. Oh, BT3 Chumons. You can search Chumon. He's right there. Cool. Alternate effect. Just can't game him out of tamers. People do that. And last but not least, the uh, avant-garde, the most uh, experimental, the most infuriating, I believe. Uh, no, it's just a shitty little mouse. He's a little. He's he's cool. Oh, that. The, I got four of them. BT14. He's great. Cool guys. Don't look at. Put more security bombs. What a gamer. What a gamer. gamer. That's what they are. You know, they're not shitty. They're the most oppressed people on this planet. Gamer. Right. Well, we're going on the cards of the week. Do y'all have your cards of the week ready? Yes. Yep. I'll That's start great. off because I had a card in mind, but then after playing with Eric today, I changed my mind. <gasps> I'm going with BT14 Ebamon. Mm. Oh. Hey, it has a free release. Suck it, Eric. <laughs> uh, it's a level six. On play or when digivolving, your opponent reveals the top three cards of the deck. Choose one Digimon card among them and delete up to its play cost total worth of Digimon's uh, opponent's Digimon. Return the reveal to the top or bottom of the deck. That got me so many times today. Yep. It was a very good card. Whoever's ready next. Urban. Me. It's a uh, crimson mode. Nah, it's, I figured you. That's card of the week. It's, it's, it won me most of my games. It's been card of the year. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> card of the century. Card of the millennium. Uh, Let him have it. With, with source and out there. Is he to win round to win my game two against him? Fair. I I was trashing. I was just waiting for him to keep trashing and like. I was I, I was baiting him to like strip my sources because he had to like trash. You're baiting him to business. what? <laughs> He's paying them, bro. <laughs> Because I had, I had a level God. five in the back, and just the back he was like five? he bottom deck my gallant mon my turn <laughs> off three memory boom gallant mon boom gallant mon x boom you have no digimon gain two boom uh, crimson mode boom blitzing he had two security left he had exactly twenty cards in trash say boom again. <laughs> boom. boom. There we go. <laughs> boom. Going Swing down. in for like 19,000. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Don't worry, boys. We're going to be on a watch list after oh, this. Oh, yeah. Justin. Get all these booms. Speaking of watch lists, Justin, you go next. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so, this one was one I thought about whenever y'all were first talking about it. Yeah. And I was on the first episode. Uh -huh. I'm going to stick with my gut on this one. Oh, okay, okay. And this leans more towards yellow vaccine. Oh, my God. No, Everybody knows where this back, is going. Take it back, take it back. Get out of here, get out of here. Get, get, back, get, back. get this man it, out of here. It's not what you think. You need to leave. We're going to EX1. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Recover one. That car stalled Irvin this so many times. This car is the spice. So goofy, so good. It's so Such good. A card. Such a Especially card. when you hit the regular one. If you have them on board, 
Oh, because his effects all turns? Oh, minus seven. Bye yeah. bye. Get the shit out of here, buddy. Oh. Sayonara, sucker. Uh, good silly goofy card. Eric. Little goofy guy. I don't have them physically with me anymore. I can't show you to them physically, but I can Spirit. describe them with utmost passion. Hmm. These are cards that I built for a friend. Oh. God rest his soul. He just doesn't play Digimon. Uh, he's kind of cool, though. He's quirked up. Oh, little man. Little block boy. Go to with the sauce. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? We're talking Justamon. All three of them. I fucking love Let's Justamon. Let's go. Justin Give me some Mon. more ways to play these. They're so cool. I like the cycling of it. You know, you go from uh, uh, Blitz Arm to Axel to Critical. Just circle that up. Circle it up. It's fucking cool. It's just too heavy. There's no way to reliably run them. Uh, no. Nope. It's a shame. Give me nope. just him on support, like you did uh, Machine Drummond. Like, no. I don't know, like, no. what I gotta do? No. No, I'll get on my knees, me. I'll make it work. It's only for me. Whatever you did, I'll do it twice. Ah, uh, pray. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> pray. Pray, cry. Pray. Show Ben on my turn results. I'm trying. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, All that's, right. Uh, that's my cards. All right. Well, we're getting into the last part of the podcast. So we're gonna be going on to tier list. Yippee! 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 Eric, I feel like you should play Gallant One. No, I used to. I've still got like a bunch of the old stuff from the structure deck. I got I stuff could, if you I want could. it. Already gamers. I could build it. So this is the EX5 tier list. Can you zoom in? I can. I'm not trying to sound mean. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I just I can't see. Oh no, you're all blind. blind. You're fine. Yeah. Is that good enough? That's a yeah. lot better. You're a hero. Cool. So we're going to start off with uh, a deck that I love, and it is uh, EX4 Omnimon Alter S. I, I love it. I wish it was better. How, but let's, how are we ranking this? So we're ranking this. Hold on. Let me change this real quick. Because I know how you have it. But yeah, it's don't just... put the wins. Do like... Uh, this was like... just a random dude that I found. Yeah, yeah this is like... What is just the one random. that's just the security symbol? Security, uh, security control. control. Oh, okay. Fucking hell, what the hell is it? Logan, use your please. keyboard, buddy. That's what I'm trying to do. There you go. Top, I, yeah, there I, you go. I, put I've an never, S there. You know that. No. Good job. I've never done this before. You know what goes before that? No. Dude, you're so fucking smart. Ah, shut up, Eric. Third God. try? Third yeah. try? Uh, no. it, it, it's B. It's, pro it's B, I promise. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah, B. Dude, like S there. S, S. <laughs> Trash. Triple S. Quadruple. No trash and can you, fun. Can you put poop parentheses not the deck? <laughs> no, okay, okay. This is trash. Poop. And this is yeah. Then we need a fun tier. Fun. Yeah, and we'll change it to like a funky color, like pink. Oh yeah, there we go. Get it in there. Fuck yeah, game. All right, so Omnimon Alter S. Fun. Yeah, easy. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. I agree with that. Anubismon after ban list. A. a. B. So, A or B? Uh, I just don't is like it. Just, it. Is it just Anubismon? Just Anubismon. So, B. now Merva? Now Merva, it's just mm. top end is just Anubis. B. Yeah, it's so, no Leviamon's B. thrown in there? Nope. Because the old Anubismon, like giving rush to stuff, still pretty good. Still pretty good. If it's. If it's yeah, after ban, I could I could see B or if not like low A. That's kind of yeah. cool. Beale Star. I've never B. seen Beale Star played ever. Uh, it's the same thing of everyone ran yeah. the same engine, so I'd put it in B as well. Beelzmon. I've never seen. I it feel run. like Beelzmon is still a. S. Yeah, I think, I'm gonna go with A. S. I think A would be okay because it's not it, it, it's not busted like. Like, well, yeah, it's not broken. Yeah, put that, put that there. Go on and drop that yeah, there. We already know it. Yeah. Get that shine put it up there. there. We, we, we all know. Fuck you, Marcus. Uh, uh, Belfamon. A. a. Yeah, I uh, I'd say A. I agree. Bloom Lord. A. A. I'd put it above Beals. Yeah, he, he's yeah, yeah, yeah above Beals. I agree. It's definitely high A. This is definitely our gatekeeper for S. Uh, Blue Flare. In Ooh. front of Belfi. In yeah, in front of Belfi. Front of Belfi really? I would even say in front of uh, uh, Belf. Uh, yeah, I'd even say that. Really? Okay. If it has the right driver for the deck, definitely. 
Yeah. yeah. We're just going to uh, just put that up there and move on. No. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, no, that. No, 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 a little lower, a little lower. No, B, no way. Yeah. No, it way. It's it's not, no, it's not B. It's like in the middle of B. No. High B, high B. It's not B. It's high, it's high A. It's high. I will Low. say, I will put it in front of Blue Flare. Really? Really? I will do that. Because Blue Flare, I fought it multiple times, and unless they get their stuff going, you just you just rush them so fast. Whereas Belfi, you can outrush them, but in, if you don't kill them in a turn, you, they'll just they'll just kill all your shit. Uh, and then of course Beelzebub is still goaded as hell. Beelzebub is just good, but yeah. I don't think it beats Bloom Lord. No, no. no. So that's I feel comfortable putting her here. Eh, if you say so. Yeah. Uh, Fang Longmon. Uh, uh, I haven't I don't never seen, seen it play, but I it's haven't seen it play right now. now. Let's it's do high it's B a pricey card. Yeah, high B for now. Yeah. Yeah. High B. Izzy's Would working you? on it, but... Yeah. I'm excited to see it, though. It. Yeah, we're just going to yeah. put this yeah. right here. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put this right here and move on. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, that's S. That's, no. That's high A. Oh, that's it's high a it is definitely a high A. It's above Bloom Lord. It's above, it's above no. Bloom Lord. I must say... I put it below. I put it... I don't know. One more back. I would say. That's fair. Uh, no, 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 no. No, yeah. I agree with Urban. It's definitely above Blue Flare. You think so? Uh, honestly, no, from... I feel like Blue Flare should be down here a little bit more. I feel like it has the potential to be above. It it's does. just not as consistent. It just hasn't gotten support in such a long time. Yeah. I feel like Belfie's probably above Bezel too. Why don't we put Belfie high B? No, I can't do that. It's just so. no. Both is like still so good uh, because you get a lot of your deletion I, effects. Yeah, I and can't really do that. Uh, it's just a purple deck that still works. Everyone um, just went to Leviathan though. Yeah. Now, from looking at this list, I believe this is. I think that's just all Agumon. Yeah, this is just Agu Tribal. Just put it up there. Yeah, uh, is it better than Shangri though? I think that's that might be. I don't know. Nah, it Depending on the build, I think it is. I don't but... think it is. Gaia mm. build, of course. Yeah. For what I have, I think it is, but you know what? I'll do it. Why not? Mm. I don't think anybody would be arguing with me if these two are up there. Hunters. Hi A. Either I would say S or either it might be above Bloom Lord. Even though Gray did top with it. I'm gonna really? say it. I'm gonna we say weren't really A. running meta decks. Yeah. Okay. Because I I play this deck. I had this deck. And I've run up against other decks. It takes a lot of setup. And if you don't have your tamers, and if you don't see your tamers, you kind of just scoop. It it got support with that one option card, but that's just one option card. And you only run yep. the one option card, so. All right, let's put this down here and move yep. on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, uh, I agree. So. Uh, I fucking hate that. We'll, we'll put it into your fun for Izzy. I know Izzy will watch this, and... Yeah, I think Jellymon is definitely better than Alter S. This is too oh, cool. oh, without a doubt. But he can get into this, into his FAB Mon so easily. Yeah. This shit. High B. High B. High B. High B. Yeah, this That's is Heavy Leomon. That's oh. High B. I, will, I don't know if it beats out a new. It's above. I, it's above. I will yeah, agree. there you I go. I will agree. After That's playing high B. with Fortitude, Fortitude is such a good effect, and Urban slides Xbody under it to give it another Fortitude. It's so good. But it's definitely better than Fanglong, and it's definitely better than Hunters. But I don't think it's better than Belfamon. No. Not yet. Not yet. Mm. Uh, speaking of Leomon, Leopardmon, what do we think? I have no experience with it. I that. don't think it's trash. Uh, I don't I'll think it like, would go into A, though. Low, B, low to mid B. I'll put it... Is it better than the original David deck, though? Because there's different ways to where you can go the yeah, David build. Yeah, as we saw seen, And then the non-David build. You know what? I'll, I would say like low to mid B. I'll yeah. put it right here. Reps out of this and Fang Long. I feel like that's right. a good point. All right. I, just, I yeah, wish it was better. <sighs> it's it's garbage, but I wish it was good. I want it to be fun. That's high B. Yeah. Low yeah. B. How high of B though? Low B. In front of Anubis. No low B. Mm. No. I would put it on the bottom of B, honestly. You no, know, actually, yeah. I think it'd be a. It would be above Anubis. Really. Yeah, well, Dude, they get well, say if you did the matchup above Anubis, like it yeah. would beat Anubis probably because of how low of deletion it has yeah, I'll compared do it. to that's what you're playing most of the time. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, and just a reminder for everyone watching: this is mono Anubis. This is no uh, Minerva, Nerva. This is just 
Anubis is the only level six you're putting in it. Oh yeah, now that I'm thinking about that, Beal Star should be in trash then, because there's not a consistent oh, yeah, like just true. Beal that's Star. So, that's true. Sadly. Yep, you're right. I'm assuming Malik is gonna watch this and be like, "You guys are fucking bro." Beale well, there's Star. a difference between Guru on Beal Star and he's, he doesn't have you know, this, he's he Beal Star. He doesn't have this deck ready yet anymore. So, um, I'm gonna. I can't even tell what that is. This is Chaos. Trash. Hey, that's, trash. that's trash. What is it? Um, say, yeah, I was about to say yeah, low A, high B. What, what is it? I can't. I can't uh, really Chaos Ramon. It's the X antibody. Oh, yeah, this is Chaos that's yeah. This I agree that. Ramon. Yeah, just yeah, because until we get BT15 support, because I played in this format with it, and hell, because I guess the heavy Leomon is kind of even, but if we're going up against hunters, it's kind of behind hunters because hunters is just an immediate counter to. The machine Dramon. It's just not mm -hmm. even not even close. I've tried and it just it's a it, you might as well just scoop or just surrender. It, there's just no telling it. Uh Mastermon move on. Uh <laughs> until we get the new shit, it's just not even worth it. Um like nope. I mean the yellow support still put helps. A, it, but again, like I'd I'd say around B somewhere. Uh, yeah, I, I the very bottom of B until it gets to the support. Do you think it's better than Jellymon? Uh, that depends on the, the, the hand, I guess, really. You know, well, the, the fun is not good or bad. That's just like, if it's a, it's just fun. Uh, yeah, I'd put it in fun. Yeah, let's put it in fun. Just to help those, uh, those Cause you gotta have the right hands. You yeah. Get, you, well, you have to have chaos day in your security. That's yeah. the only thing fear that people fear about this. Cause the only. I will say, I think it's above Alter S. Yeah, sadly. I agree with that. I agree with that. That's uh, uh, Alter S looks cool. It's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. just easier to do, uh, the other one. Yeah. That's true. All right, Mel, go. I fucking hate I it. So god. Feel like much. it's trash? No. 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 I wouldn't put it above. List. I'd put it even with Rose, honestly. Right, is this pre-ban list or after ban after list? After ban list. After. Mm. Put I it feel like, like it's fun or under Commandra. Okay. Commander Mon. I agree with that. Really? I feel like I think so. I feel like all of these are pretty much even with each other. They're like roughly equivalent. It's just like slightly above, slightly below. But trying to put like these two together or even this no. with this, it just don't work. Yeah. So I will say yeah, it's above command. Oh, maybe I just haven't seen the matchup enough is why. Yeah. Uh, Mirage. It's a he S. Mirage. Yep. yep. It's red hybrid. I would put that S as well. Yeah, I would too. Yep. It, I'm surprised. Would it beat out any of the other decks though? I, I feel like it might would be that's faster super dependent. than Luga. I. It, I think it it's... definitely beats uh, the Augu Tribal. I definitely think it beats those. Mm -hmm. Mirage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Fenrir, and I don't know about Shot. It really. It. It. This right. I, here, I feel like if it's an S, they're all just more or less equivalent. It just depends on how lucky you get. Who's faster? It, it depends. Yeah. On the who's pilots. faster? It really depends yeah. on the pilot too, because you have to know how to play this to compete with this. Because if you don't, yeah. it's probably it's much here. lower. Yeah. But I do agree. That's right there. I uh, fucking crash. Yeah, get the shit out of here. Uh, I hate it. Yeah. Like it's if anyone's doing it, they're doing it just to get on your nerves. That's true. And they're like, oh, this is how I'm yeah, winning. It's it's I'm just spiteful. playing my security. Yeah, it is and it's like, up. Just do it. There's no real skill to it. Now, if we actually want to place it, I would say a high B. But it's just, I would agree. It's just to solve the game and go to rounds. That's all that deck is. Yeah. Uh, we know that's going out there. <laughs> Um, if I'm being honest with... I was about to say, do we think it beats some of the A decks? Not really. Uh, I don't know if it would beat any of them, honestly. I will say... Try. I mean, mm -hmm. it'd be close. It, it depends on the game, but I feel like it'd be a lot harder for it to get above. I will say it goes right in front of Gallimard. Simply because of the tournament. <laughs> yeah. I just realized... Even though I beat him Gallimard too. Deck. And then there's Hunters right above it. Wow. <laughs> That's perfect. And then All Force... Fun. That's um, fun. It's that's fun. fun for such an expensive deck too. That's that's funny. Um, that's fun. I think it's. Do we think it's above Master Jelly? Yes. No, I agree with that. Because I feel like Jelly might be a little bit more. Maybe I don't know. You know what's funny? It. I'll do it like this because two of the most expensive decks in the format <laughs> are Old Force and Mastermon now because their tamers are yeah. stupid. Uh yeah, I'm gonna put this up here. Yes. I'm gonna put yeah. it. It's yeah. kind of tied with Marcus, but I'm gonna put it up there. Well, all of it can kind of go hand in hand, so it's kind of yeah. equivalent. Um, Is that Shoutmon? That's Shoutmon. Shoutmon. That's, that's uh, S. I feel like it's. I, it, 
I wouldn't really? say yes. I don't think it is anymore. Otherwise, it would be like really be high. A lot of it. I'll put it in front of Bill, uh, Bill I'm move it up one more, maybe, yeah, maybe two yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, 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 Gamamon. Yeah. Uh, as much as I want to go with Gamamon, Dark Knight Mon. Uh, it used to be really good. Yeah, I'm hoping it's fine. You know, do you it, think it's below Alter? I think it could go mid, uh, mid to bottom. B. I will say that it's not better than Jelly, but. It's definitely better. The than gameplay of it looks a lot more fun oh, than the others. Oh, yeah. you think it's yeah. better than Old Force? Yeah, I think so. That's yeah, easily. Not, really? Skull not mom promo? No, easy, yeah. Oh, the promo, that is true. Yeah, the, it just, you it's can ask so Eric. Good. I just constantly mm. replay out the Skull not mom. Easy the same demo. card. It was really yeah, fun, it was cool. so fucking fun. Um, trash, trash, trash. I wish it was trash. good. God, it's just, it's I've never trash. seen it played. <sighs> I'll put it it's in another game. deck where it's heavily reliable on the hand. Well, here's yeah. the thing. If you're if you know your opponent has no floodgates, but if they yeah. do, but like everyone but everyone runs floodgates. Runs floodgates. Yeah, so. There was a time where people stopped for a bit, there's but true. that's no longer. Uh, so I'd put it in trash because everyone in our group that has built it has also sold it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. One of them. Uh, yeah. Is it Alphamon. <sighs> yeah, it's Alphamon. I'll leave it right there for right now. Alphamon, I'd probably put low A, yeah, high B. That's what I was yeah. thinking. It has the potential of doing something great. Maybe with the BT15, did you please support? It's just how fast. Maybe, yeah. but I don't know. It needs it needs some help regardless. <sighs> what is that? This B is... or fun, I'd say, because I want it to uh, be oh, it the A, Nova? but yeah. I don't know if it's up there for that. Not until we get yeah. the other cards. But it like it's mid, mid B, mid high B. I think... I'd say it's equivalent with the Leo, maybe. Yeah, I agree. It's a fun deck. It's a really fun mm -hmm. deck, and I really am glad that they're still doing DNA decks because they're for a while. It looks just so didn't cool. Have any. Yeah, and that's a deck like you really have to take time because the more I play it, the more I learn the deck. Gallant, and then you, you put a second Gallant on, which the I don't only know way why. I see Gallant Mon is always an OTK. So I feel like it's always just fifty fifty. Yeah, I feel like. Oh, that. actually, I think the red purple yeah. one's supposed to be the mill variation. Oh yeah, they get the shit down here. <laughs> I think the red purple is just Chaos Gallant. Yeah, it's Chaos. With the Mega Dramon or yeah, whatever. Get this oh, then sadly, yeah. Yeah, get the shit. I wish trash. it was good. I wanted to build it so bad. Yeah. I put it together and it's just dog shit. Yeah. I bought cards for it and I I gave up a Gallantmon that day. That back in BT. I want to go to the last one. Is that King Sukumon? That is King Sukumon. King Suga. I believe um, it should be tied with Edamon. Yeah, they kind of go hand in hand. Really. For right now, anyways. Mm. Well, yeah, if you go the Sukumon... Uh, King Sukumon, I feel like you're not really going the Edamon route anymore. Yeah. You're going more Sukumons. Yeah, Imperial. Fun. I think it's still high A, if not. Uh, yeah, I would say the bottom of A, maybe above. Do uh, you really think Imperial is better than... I think it has the potential. Yes. Yeah. Because the way I play every single time is Imperial usually never lets me down. It's always kicks my ass. Do you think play Imperial poop. is better than Hunter's? Yeah, I feel like Imperial can get cards out quicker. Yes. I, yeah. I heavily disagree with this. The I, only thing that stops it is if they're, you're able to kill the level threes yeah. which, before they can which like everything kind of does. DNA. I'm gonna say because I feel like it'd be the same as Shoutmon. I'm gonna say it's it's a little bit better than Poop, but like this is like the the gatekeepers right here. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, I'm going to have to say it's better than Galaxy Nova, as much as I love the deck. You think it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Galaxy Nova's got a little bit more to play around with. Once you go into your fighter mode, it, you pretty much have it, but it's you have it's to... It's just getting there. there. And plus, yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. is like, you don't even have now, to are you go talking into it. Straight you just play the starter or like through the bunny variation? Because if it's the bunny variation, well, we're not I feel like it's a lot variation. better. The bunny variation oh, okay. was my own build that I try to concoct with each other. I think it works a lot better, It did honestly. work a lot better. But... I thought you, I thought you told me you saw it online. No. No, he saw it in his head now. <laughs> I think he read it. Maybe. But, like, a Ristradramon Superior Mode can just tuck it under one of your Davises. And yeah. honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, this deck loses to itself. Because searching. Yeah. Compared to everything else on this list, this is probably the most inconsistent one. Yeah. And that's saying something with Chaos and Machine Dramon sitting right here. If, if, by that case, I kind of want to put it, like, either equivalent... Uh, with Gallimon, then. Yeah, I agree. Because Gallimon shares some of the same problems. Again, I always see, if it's pure Gallimon, I always see OTK. 
you know. Yeah, in I my pull mind. up with either one of these, people are like, "Oh, we're playing metal." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when you look at Imperial, if you look anything, Metal Edamon all the way down, it's not meta. But once you start looking this way up, it's meta. Yeah, that's the threshold. Yeah. So, um, mermaids. All mermaids right. are blue trash. Hybrid. I wish oh, it was okay. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kill it. I wish mermaids. No, was I, good. it's fun though because it's like it's essentially blue hybrid. Um, depending on Mill, how you Mill's going to be better than yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just annoying. Nobody plays that anymore. So that's what I'm gonna say. And go ahead. <laughs> put that shit on the top. This shit is busted. Now, if I'm being honest. That's probably uh, yeah. more realistic. You know, I put it above yeah. the uh, the yellow, the yellow Patamon. You think so? It, it. it depends on the build. It re- it re- well, because if you go aggro, I mean, well, maybe. But if you go a lot of DP minusing, they're not going to keep something on board. Going off of mine and Urban's games, because we took these two together, he lost a lot of memory for me just blowing up his ace cards. Whereas Fair. Shine Gray did not have that problem. Well, Sean Gray uses its tamers. It's yeah. it's just it's free for it. Oh, delete my tamer. Bet he goes to security. Oh, he's back. Yeah. Yep. So well, I don't need Digimon anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go through S. I, I um, you know what? I, I just can't stand it. I I just really don't think it's that good. I, I like just, everyone I, hyped it up, and it's it can be fun, but like, I just don't think it's that good. But what I'm afraid of is Seven Great Demon Lords is going to be here too. I hope not, but it probably will be. Kind I feel of, like decks yeah. like that are it too kind heavy. Of it's kind of like the Bagra Army, you know, yeah. when it first came out. It was the that's same the way. sad it's part, two... is a single floodgate stops it. Yeah. Yep. Altogether. And, and the only way to get rid of it is to hard play Marcus in this deck. Marcus puts in more work than anything else. Yeah. And then your opponent can just play another one for three or just evolve it in the back and push it out. It's. I just. I just don't. I just don't get it. It, it just. It needs a lot. It, it when it works, though, I do think it's more fun than uh, uh, some of those. But yeah. it's all good. Now, yeah, this I don't. You know, blue flare. I I keep thinking it's lower tier A. Like it's on the verge for me from putting it into B tier because I think heavy Leo is a lot better than blue flare. I think heavy Leo is better than blue flare. I agree with you. Small places. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, yes. You know what? Mm. Now I want to play Dawson and his blue flare <laughs> with my Leomon. Look, until y'all face this heavy Leomon that Urban has, it's annoying as shit. It really feels like an echo of his Gamma Mon. It feels so stupid. Which is cool. That sounds cool. Oh, yeah. But you know what's funny? All of these, they're, this is BT12, BT12. BT twelve. Most of this is from BT twelve because nobody. Because if you're going going to use the BT fourteen stuff, you just kind of go into. Uh, you're just Agumon. using the Agumon. Uh, BT twelve. Mate, this is Melga. Uh, BT twelve. BT twelve. Uh, BT twelve. BT twelve. Like uh, BT twelve. Like they're at, like a majority of the meta is from BT twelve. If you built built a deck in BT twelve, there's a good chance it's still meta relevant. And then you got Alter S. <laughs> poor poor EX four. That that whole set was poor dedicated Scott. to him. Poor Scott. Yeah. Still though, I love the deck. It's such a fun deck. I love DNA decks. If we could have a format where it was DNA only, I think I would love that format the most. Well, maybe that's something we could do with. At the shop. Good. DNA good. only decks. DNA only decks. That could be interesting. Uh, whenever yeah, the match. Ragnar about to come in clutch. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Fucking, I can tell you the, the leaderboard once all the support gets released. Uh, first place, Mastamon. Second place, Ragna. Third place. Yeah, but we're talking about now, not now, the future. Oh, okay. Third place probably is going to be the, gonna be uh, your, your boy, Justin. And fourth place, probably be Imperial. <laughs> I hate it. I want this. I want this fucking card to work. It's just. No, I don't. I don't like it. When it works, I, it's not. I fun. find myself going more into the dragon mode that plays out the fours. That's true. And then you know they were technically a source, so you could swing the jamming one. Yeah. And if you have another level five DNA again, so I feel like it can be aggro, but yeah. it, it all depends. Overall, this is still a great game. I'm happy with it. By all means, 
This is getting... I have complaints with everything that's in the first four of S tier. Yeah, this... Um, just in general, I feel like a lot of them need to have some limitations on their cards. I'll be honest with you. The most... But other than that, they're cool. The most dangerous Oh, ones. yeah, Pat is broken in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, regardless. They should, they, and then the one memory option card. Mm -hmm. just, they oh, should have yeah. read some of these. I guarantee you. Uh, can I add a new layer? No, you can add... Uh, we should be able to. Press the uh, little gear thing. Oh, and that, then that, add a row above, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can just stack right here. Okay. Future broken. Levy. Uh, yeah, that. In or here. Honestly, I don't know about Mirage. I think Mirage. Because of the, all the blue shit coming out. That's mm. getting support via proxy, I guess so. though. Uh, yeah. Gamma Mon, yeah, Gamma Mon's still going up there. I'm excited for Gamma Mon. Uh, Chaos is definitely going up there. Just the new Maimon shit. Literally, just the new Well, Maimon. you don't play the new Mon in that version. I know, but still. I I'm just using that as a reference. I got you. And then we're just using this as fish. Uh, All this, this is cards we already have. This, busted. And if I had to rank them... It's going to be yellow. Yellow is still top. Leviamon comes up behind. This is based off all the leaks we have so far. That, that, maybe. Like these two are Why is it Ragnalore's not on this list? Because it sucks. <laughs> no, you uh, the whole tier list uh, before with, you with, You said it. with all the leaks we got. Wait a second. Where was Ragnalord? Uh, well, we haven't gotten the blast days for Ragnalord yet. At the time, give, me a, poop, video. give me a poop ace. This is poop going ace. up here. Like this poop is ace. honestly the way the cards are looking. I wouldn't. Here, here. I wouldn't say that. Oh, you well, you need to see the list. No, well, no, no, no. He's, say, he's saying the Numamon line for that the one. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, even then, I feel like Numamon's going to struggle too much. It's got too much of an identity crisis. I think. Oh no! no it plays the Ukamons. No. I feel like it splits up even too more. many too many directions. And simply. because... I'm going to keep this right here at the bottom. This is because the amount of fish support. Or even just source stripping. Source stripping. That. Good lord. They are they are literally one memory setter away from this being um, honestly up here. Yep. That's all it takes. But they don't have a memory setter? Nope. They don't. They get the Soren Joe, which is a four cost. But if your opponent doesn't have a Digimon with it, any evolution cards, you gain two memory. But if you bundle, if you give them a memory setter that just says main once per turn, tap it to trash a digivolution card like the Joe kind of does on play, I believe it'll be up here. Jelly Mon, Fish, whatever blue source strip, I definitely believe it'll be up here. That shit is just, it's one good card away from topping everything. Because the most effective thing is D-Digivolve and get rid of your, your digivolution cards. But yeah, and Emperor's still gonna be there. We poor poor Greymon. Don't get any it's of that. It went from the best, the best to like kind of forgotten. This was whenever. Oh, it's now it's how Rust Greymon felt. Gaiomon gang rise yeah. up. Yeah. Um, we rise up. <laughs> gamers rise up. Just simply for some of the poop stuff, maybe Edamon, maybe. Uh, did you please? Maybe it's kind of a it's awkward right now. Maybe if Imperial just gets a gets a better blast ace, maybe. But other than that, no. And then of course this would be up here because yellow gets everything. Please give Gallant Mon piercing and a way to unsuspend after an attack. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah. I, I wanna I wanna put it into the fucking internet. It makes no goddamn sense why this motherfucker has a fucking spear and a piercing doesn't, lance and doesn't have piercing and a shield and doesn't have blocker. Don't and know actually, why. Uh, the option card lightning joust is Shut up. and it gives him piercing. He needs to have it on his face. Yeah. And whenever that card gets released, I'll yeah, either give him piercing or blocker or something. Ooh. Like give him something cool. Give me a Takato with mine. Give me reboot. Link. Give me reboot. Yeah, give me oh, yeah, give me a Takato with mine. Link. Give me fucking something. I hate this shit. 
whenever it happens, whenever I get a Gallop mod that says blocker and piercing, I play Gallop mod. Other than that, I'm not doing it. It, do it just doesn't make sense to me at all. It's cool. No, it's not. I hate, I hate it's cool. Cool. All right. It's, it's cool. Hey, guys, what if I told you? I forgot to hit record. Yeesh. No, I saw OBS on earlier. Oh, you can't man. let it in. <laughs> I was hoping for it. Okay. Alrighty, people. Any last closing remarks before we exit out of this? And I totally remember to upload this tomorrow. Eric, but got them on again. Sorry. Okay, I'll build a gallon one. <laughs> Eric, do that emote again. My honest reaction to that shit. <laughs> Fair. Oh my god. <laughs> the fucking in, the end craze is going to be Jessica looking over her shoulder at us and smirking. <laughs> Before fading back into the cat background. <laughs> I love it. Hell yeah. Alrighty. And we didn't even say it. We didn't even say it. I got BG dudes. Oh, I got it. Egg up, digi dudes. Hey, 